Today in Minecraft, we got trapped in detention for 100 years. Sonny, this is the worst. We're gonna be grandpas when we get out of here. Speak for yourself. I'm breaking out of here. Wait for me. Yo, goats, if 5,001 new people subscribe at the same time, this door will unlock and we'll be free. Thank you, guys. Ugh, Melon, I can't believe we have to stay after school hours and deal with detention. Oh, bro, but we'll tough it out. I'm mentally stronger than anybody. Yeah, I've got a pretty strong will too, so this detention shouldn't be too bad. I just hope it's not Dr. Longbottoms who's in charge with detention today. That would suck. Yeah, but anyway, Sonny, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. It's gonna be like 30 minutes tops. Yeah, you're right. Our parents want us home before it gets too dark, and the sun's already set. Uh... Yeah, Sonny, we took a wrong turn. This is not good. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, let's serve our detention sentence and get this over with, please. Detention room, Sonny. Oh, let's just do this. Get it over with. Uh, Sonny? Why did the windows just go up? What the heck? I can see the sky! And now there's netherite blocks! Wait, this is more than detention. I feel like we're trapped in prison! Yeah, Sonny, the door's completely locked. I can't get out. The heck are these photos? They're actually pretty awesome. Anyways, my Let's take a seat before a detention teacher gets angry. Just gonna go right over here, squat down, and chill out. Yeah, so what, like 10, 20 minutes and we can go home? We'll get to how long you'll be in detention. But first, welcome Sonny and Melon. You'll be spending quite a while here. I hope it was worth it. Oh no, not detention teacher. I'm so scared. Oh no. Oh wow, detention. Big scary, wow. You two numbnuts have caused so much trouble in our school. I mean, just look at these paintings. It says it all. Yeah, those paintings look awesome. No, it's not awesome. This is what the poor students of this school drew when they were asked to depict you two. It's not a good look. Yeah, because we're bad boys. Ain't that right, Sonny? Yeah, some might say we're the bomb. Get it? <laughs> I get it. Some might say we're the tank. <laughs> get it? Yeah, because we're standing on a big tank over there. Yeah, we're pretty much the coolest kids in school. That's it. Stay in those chairs. You're in detention for 100 years starting now. Wait, what? 100 years? Bro, we're gonna grow old here. Bro, this is a detention. This is, this is like prison. Oh, no. This is a life sentence, bro. Uh, I can't believe this. Why'd you have to go and make these stupid drawings? Dude, I didn't make them. That's what the students thought of us. You inspired them, Melon. It's basically your fault. Dude, you're in all of the drawings I'm in, okay, Sonny? We can't be arguing with each other. Our only way out of here is if we work together. You're right. But I think for now, we need to pretend we're cooperating and wait for the detention teacher to fall asleep. Three hours later. <laughs> Sonny, I think he's asleep. Yes, it worked. All we had to do was exactly nothing. Yes. Now, Melon, how are we going to get out of this place? Um, pretty much, Sonny. We're going to go and look around the room and look, li li listen, this guy's pretty much deaf. Shh, shh. Lower your voice, Melon. Are you crazy? Oh, yeah, you're right. But, Sonny, I'm pretty sure he's deaf. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Hello? You're right. He's in such a deep sleep. He has no idea what's happening around him. Wait, hold on. Let me check. Oh, he's actually dead, Sonny. No, that's a lie. I know you just farted and that would kill most people. And that was, by the way, quite disgusting. But the teacher's fine. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's dead. We should probably get out of here before we get sentenced to more time. You're right, bro. We don't want to get framed for this. Although you are the one who farted on him. Anyways, you look for a way out there. I'll check his desk. Ugh, nothing here. Um, Sonny, I think I've found a way out. Check this out. It looks like, yeah, the vents actually open up. No way. This is just like Barry's prison escape. Get through the vents, Melon. We know how to do this. Sonny, come on in. Yes, Melon, we're gonna get out of detention in no time. This should be easy. Yeah, bro. Just one vent away from freedom. I can feel it in me bones. Uh, Sonny? Whoa! Chill, Sonny! Dude, what is this place? It looks like it's an AC unit, Sonny. You're right. We're in the air shaft. This is how the school circulates all the oxygen. Uh, this is a little bit scary, Sonny. Oh, yo, Sonny, come down here. Okay, I'm just making a couple jumps. I want to be careful, bro. I don't want to take any damage. Oh! 
Whoa, that jump was epic. Sonny, I'm glad I packed a big lunch today because I would be starving right now. Yeah, me too, bro. Check what I brought today. Cake! Ooh, that was tasty. Mmm, that looks like delicious cake. Anyways, Sonny. You just destroyed my cake. What the heck? It doesn't matter. We don't have time. We can't stay here forever. We got to keep moving forward. Ah! I got to time this. Go! Oh, that was scary. Dude, I was right. We were in the AC. AC coolant toxic. Sonny, whatever you do, don't fall in this water. Yeah, this is where the air conditioning puts all of its pollutants, and we don't want to get polluted. Exactly. Sonny, we got to do this thing. Big old jumpers, Melon. Big old... Wait, wait, wait. Chill. Who's going next? Me or you? You go, you go. Come on, come on. Oh, I made it, Melon. Hurry up, bro. Wait for me, wait for me. Hiya! Ah, ah, Sonny, it's toxic, please. And that was the last day I ever saw Melon. Hey, Sonny, I'm back. Oh, good to see you, bro. Don't fall in the toxic water again, or you'll get sent back to detention. I won't, Sonny. I've mastered the parkour. Good work, bro. Just a couple more jumps, and we should get out of here. Melon, I'm scared. Oh, but I made it. Nice, Melon. Hurry up, bro. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Oh, Sonny, what the heck? Why is this AC unit so complex? And, uh... And there's monsters in it, too. This is not good, Sonny. This is not good. He's shooting at us. Wait, he's dying in the toxic coolant. That's perfect. That's our defense mechanism in case any more monsters show up. You're right, Sonny. Let's keep moving forward. Ah! This is a stupid... Yeah, that's right. Die, zombies. Uh, Melon, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go this way. Like up here and over here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You're probably right about that. Zombies! There's more zombies! Sonny, don't worry. I'll help you! Put him in the water. Put him in the toxic water. You're right. You're right. Hit him in. Hit him in. Yes. He's melting. Uh, Sonny, this looks really challenging. You just have to time your jumps well. Like me. Oh, first try. You just gotta go with the flow, Sonny. Go with the flow. Yeah, I'm kind of a coward. I'm pretty nervous right now. Oh, oh. Hey, I actually did it. My turn to make the jump. Oh, that was crazy, Melon. I can't believe we did that. Sonny, we have to go this way. I'm right behind you, bro. <gasps> Look out. The teacher's chasing us. We gotta go, Sonny. We don't want to get caught, bro. They're trying to send us back to detention. No chance. I ain't ever going back there. Me neither. Down the stairs, bro. Get in, get in, get in. Oh. Oh, I think we escaped. We're in the school cafeteria, but how the heck are we gonna get out of this place, bro? The doors are locked at night. Everyone knows that. Maybe there's a key card or an access code somewhere. I'll check back here in the kitchen area, Melon. Let's see. There's gotta be something in one of these chests. And I'll check by the lunch tables. Come on. There's not even any old food in here. I thought there'd at least be some moldy bread or stinky cheese. Uh, what is this? Melon? I found something. What'd you find, Sonny? It's not a security key card, but it does lead to somewhere suspicious. What are you talking about? Come and press these buttons. Bro, these are obviously decorative. See? I told you. What the heck? What kind of fridge is this? It's the mysterious freezer of disappearing kids. And you're going in it! Ah! Whoa, Sonny, it looks like we're in the garbage chute. Is this a safe way for us to escape or are you a dead melon? I have no idea, but this looks like it's the only path. Okay, melon, I'll trust you. Ah! Whoa, this is getting crazier. Sonny, check this out. I call this one the melon skip. No way you made that jump. Yeah, I kind of goaded with the sun. Us. Pretty sure if we fall, we're dead. So just don't slip. I won't, Sonny. I've never slipped! Well, I think we all saw that one coming. I'll show you how it's done, Melon. Ooh! And a little bit of one of these. Ooh! Hey, nice one, bro. You made it. Yeah. Then you go up here, and then you gotta go like zoom with it. Ooh! Ooh! Last jump. Yes! I'm clear! Yes! I did it! <laughs> oh, Sonny! Oh, Melon, did you slip on that banana peel? Unlucky. You're so mean. Hey! I made it, Sonny. I'm proud of you. And now, we're gonna have to solve math equations. Equations. What the heck? It's like someone's been here before and laid this all out perfectly for us to escape. Uh, I don't know what two plus two is, so I'm gonna go down the question mark. Nope, that's a seven. Don't go to Melon Y. This is a question.
question mark, Sonny. Yeah, look behind you now. What the heck? Who is that? Who is that? That was Gina, the angry lunch lady. You shouldn't have gone there, Melon. You should not have gone there. All right, everyone knows two plus two is 22. You just combine the numbers. It's easy. Ow! Ow, don't do it! Don't do it, Melon! Sonny, you're so stupid. It was obviously four. I was just messing around before. Yeah, same. I was just totally messing around. I was too, yeah, messing around. But the question is, this still leads to a dead end. I don't really understand. You sure it's not ghost blocks or something? Yeah, bro, I walked into it. Like, what the heck are we supposed to do here? Wait, Melon, we came through this door, didn't we? There was clearly a hallway right there. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Yep, I knew that. Name of the block. Well, Sonny, I'll tell you what. It's not a stone brick. It might be a monkey block. It could be a stone tiles. Are you serious right now? This is the most obvious thing I've ever seen. It's clearly a monkey block. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, no, there's another lunch lady. And I'm dead. Thanks, Gina. Well, that really sucks, Sonny. I personally am under the belief that it's a stone tile. Melon, it's not a stone tile. Don't go in there. Sonny, you're so stupid, bro. It's stone bricks. Yeah, I knew that. I was just testing your knowledge. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Wait, Melon, I can hear water flowing through these walls. Do you think there's a secret? I don't think so, Sonny. But I think it means we're close to the outside. Yes, freedom. We're going to escape detention. It's so close. We just need to jump on the magenta block. Which color is magenta melon? I don't know. I'm colorblind, Sonny. I don't know if it's this one or if it's this one. I think it's this one. No! <laughs> that one's obviously purple, bro. I was trolling. This is magenta. See? Oh, yep. I knew that. I knew that. I knew it was one of the two. Now, what is this? We're in a library. Except it's set up like a maze. Sonny, we have to solve the mysteries and get to the bottom of this. If we want <gasps> Who is that? Melon, what happened? Melon, I can't hear you. There's a big night in there, Sonny. Okay, Melon, I think we should stick together to escape this place. Yeah, so Sonny, if I remember correctly... <laughs> Ah, he's right there. He's right there. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? His legs, his legs are enormous. I just hit a dead end. I just hit a dead end. It's okay. I'll keep him distracted. I'll keep him distracted. Melon, chill. I hit him. I hit him from the back. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But Sonny, I keep running into dead ends. Yeah, I'm zooming past the big guy and he's coming for you right now, Melon. Come on, juke. Ah, oh no. Unlucky. I'm gonna go this way now. And Melon, I think, I think it's over here. I think this is the way. Oh yeah, that. That must be the way, yes. He's here! Ow! Sonny, he's everywhere! He's like a Slenderman. He just keeps teleporting and showing up where we don't want to see him. How many are there? Melon, I have a feeling the knight has been guarding the exit this entire time. We just gotta find a way to distract him and... Oh, another dead end. Really? The thing is, there's two knights. Run, run! Dang it, I was so close! That's it. I'm not afraid. Okay, I'm afraid. We have to go through this entrance, Sonny. It's the only way. Follow me. I will be your sacrifice. Actually, you be my sacrifice. Go! Get sacrificed! I'm trying to go! See, it was easy. Wait, no! No, why am I the sacrifice? Just lead him away. Lead him away. Go, Melon! Go! I gotta go. I gotta dip! Run, Sonny! Run! Now show me the way. I don't really know the way, Sonny. I just... This is me having... Oh, no! Unlucky. I think it's over here somewhere. Yes! I found the exit! I'm actually goaded! Sonny, I'm almost there! I'm almost there! Follow the sound of my voice. Yes! You've made it, Melon. Let's get out of this place. We actually made it. We made it! We got out of detention! We could have been trapped for 100 years, but now we get to taste the sweet freedom of Minecraft. Such a beautiful flower. Sonny, let's run away and never come back. I'm with you, brother. That's the last time we should ever go back to that school. Let's find a new place to study. Yeah. Guys, if you hate school, make sure to like and subscribe. Hey, school's pretty cool, but you gotta to make sure you've got great teachers and have a fun time getting edumacated. Okay, guys, it's my first day at school and I'm kind of nervous, bro. I hope I fit in. Hey, guys, look at this nerd coming to school. What's his name? Melon? Stop right there! Yo, what the heck, bro? What's wrong with you? You're not going anywhere, nerd. Watch this. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Because there was nothing you could do to stop me. When you're the coolest, strongest, most popular kid in school, you could do anything you want. Yo, chill. I don't want to hold my dead kind. Bro, what if I murdered the sun? How would you feel? You can't, so I don't have to think about it. <laughs> I gotta get to class, bro. I'm gonna be late. No, 
No, you're gonna be late. Ow! That's absolutely right. You will be. I'm not done picking on you, nerd. Boom! Ow! Bang! Ow! Ow! Actually, uh, you probably should head to class before I get in too much trouble with the school's staff office. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Yeah, I know. I'm pretty cool. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, that guy is so mean. Okay, I just gotta head to class. I'm gonna be late. Dang it. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. It won't happen again. I promise. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm sorry, dude. I was getting picked up. You don't care? Aw. I'll make it up to you. And now the class has started, it's time for me to roam the hallways. Oh, yeah. Feels good to be the only kid in the hallway. I run this place. Feels good to be cool, popular, and even the teachers don't care. Watch this. I'll arrive to class as late as I want. Yeah, what's good? Nice work, teacher. Keep it up. Dude, this guy's really in my class? Yo. Hey, Melon, catch this. Ew. Did you just spit on me? Ow, that's disgusting. Teacher, teacher, you won't even look at me. What the heck's wrong with you? You're a bystander. Ew. <laughs> Don't like this. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> That sunny guy is such a jerk. I'm just trying to live my life, but he keeps picking on me. I'm just gonna go in here and cry. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Bartholomew, do you mind if I go find that melon guy and bring him back to class? Yeah, you'd appreciate it? I know, he's slacking. He's trying to go to the bathroom and ignore all of the knowledge that you're sharing. Hey, melon! Melon! Uh, what's going on? Uh, what do you want, Sonny? You're such a nerd! Boom! And you're not even muscular? Look how skinny you are, bro. You're so mean. I'm out of here. What is wrong with you? That's right. Go home and cry, Melon. Ow. I don't even know how to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Cry to mommy. Cry to your mommy. You're such a baby. Stop. <laughs> You're so mean. That sunny guy is ruining my life. I just want to be myself and have fun. But he won't let me. He's making fun of me. He's calling me skinny he's punching me being so mean that's it tomorrow is the day i stand up for myself i won't let him walk all over me again oh, today's the day today's the day i stand up for myself it's off to school and i'm actually feeling good today i'm not even worried hey boys when this melon nerd gets to school let's pick on him again yeah let's destroy his watermelon friend right here and make him watch Hey, how's it going, Sonny? What's up? Yeah, Melon, really good, really good. You stand right there and watch as this happens right in front of your eyes. <laughs> no, I won't let you. Whoa, whoa, relax, Melon. That was actually really impressive. I thought you were just some stupid nerd. No, I'm a smart nerd with a mean uppercut. Dang! You know what? I think we could be friends. Wait, you think so? I actually really respect you, dude. You might be skinny and have a gigantic head, but you're pretty cool. Hey, let's go! What are we doing first, friend? Follow me. I've got an idea. Okay, Melon, I've got a great idea. Yeah, what's that, Sonny? Let's sneak out of class and prank everybody by putting something disgusting in their lockers. Like what? A piece of poop? That would be pretty good, but I don't have any poop lying around. But I do know that Professor Bartholomew, he's been making some nasty experiments in his desk. Look at this. Could you just distract him a little bit, actually? Yo, what's up, Bartholomew? Um, you got a nice bangs, bro. That's good. Keep it up, Melon. Tell him about his chalkboard and how smart he is. Bro, you're such a smart teacher. You should be teaching at university. You should not be teaching at a high school. You're a genius. Yes, Melon, I got it. I got the potatoes. Let's get out of here. Uh, bye. Okay, okay, follow me. Ooh, the principal's office. Principal Short Buzzums. What the heck? That's a weird name. Yeah, what the heck, dude? Um, what are we doing with these potatoes, though? Just follow me, Melon. We've got to be very sneaky. Yeah, sneaky, be like 
They'll never suspect a thing. Just gotta break through into the cafeteria. Yo, that's property damage. You're crazy, Sonny. Throw a couple of these into the cafe. And Melon, here's some for you. Yo, I'm gonna go put it in everybody's lockers. That's such a good idea. It's gonna be stinky. <laughs> I don't wanna put that many in here. Give me these back. I'll get locker six. Yo, who has locker seven, bro? That thing is really reinforced what the heck is this 69 69 well i'm out of ideas well, it's okay we've completed our prank <laughs> just guide the evidence and let's go back to class good idea good idea and when the bell rings it's gonna be so stinky melon did you hear that class is up that was the bell yo let's go check on these lockers dude it's gonna be so smelly yo we can hear them they're already talking about it yo you guys smell that oh it's disgusting Disgusting, right? Someone put rotten potatoes in everyone's locker? Ew, who would do that? <laughs> Melon, Melon, they're freaking out. Let's get out of here. That's so gross. That's so gross. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's dip, Sonny. We got to get out of here. It's too stinky. Oh, that was fun. But uh, I'm pretty tired, Sonny. I think I'm going to go hit, uh, hit the hay, get some sleep, and get ready for school tomorrow. Dude, it's the afternoon. It's not even that late. No wonder you're so tired, bro. You're too skinny, and all you do is sit on your butt and read books all day? Bruh, you've got to work out. you got to hit the way. Let's go to the gym. I don't know, man. I got a lot of studying to do, and then I got to sleep, and then study some more, and then study, and then study. Replace the studying with lifting, and then you'll be as big and as strong as me. All right, let's do it. Welcome to the gym. This is the place where boys become men. Yo, Sonny, what the heck is this thing? It's a pull-up bar. Check it out. <sighs> 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 I'm getting strong. You're not even doing a full rep. This is how you do it. Wait, you know about pull-ups? Yo, Melon, you're a natural. Yeah, bro, and then I bench here. Which one do I think? Yeah, I'll just rep some of these out really quick. Melon, that's too heavy. I'll spot you. Get out of that. Get out of there. Ah, I'm getting crushed. Oh, oh, oh. That's why you always have a spotter. Yeah, that was really dangerous. And you should always start with a warm-up. Couple of reps here. Yeah, that's a good little bit of bench pressing. And then one day you'll be as strong as me and you can hit the big weights. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Sonny, you're actually strong, bro. But what's this machine? Oh, this is something for legs. But yeah, I skipped that. Yeah, let's just pretend this doesn't exist. Yo, Melon, you're looking buffer already. Yeah, bro. The gym paid off well. I feel so much better. And I'm freaking jacked. Whoa, keep those muscles to yourself, bro. I don't want to get beat up. Now follow me to class and let's pretend that we like to learn and then we'll sneak out later and do more pranks, right? What do you mean pretend? I love to learn, dude. I can't wait. Today's science. Ugh, not the periodic table, bro. Yeah, carbon and nitrogen? Oh, that's so interesting, bro. When you mix an acid and a metal, it creates salt water. Bro, what are you talking about? I'm out of here, dude. I'm gonna be in the bathroom if you wanna talk about some pranks. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Wait, Sonny, where'd you go? Sonny, where are you, bro? Oh, he's gonna do some pranks? <laughs> I'm kinda down for that. Yo, what's up, Sonny, bro? That lesson was super interesting. What's up? Oh, I thought I lost you to the books forever. Yeah, I have an idea. We should totally prank the principal. Yo, what are you thinking? Just check the toilet. It's in there. Yo, you have a poop bag? I'm not touching that, bro. That's all you. <laughs> come on, come on. You gotta touch the poop bag. Here, hold it, hold it. Oh, oh, it's so gross, dude. And now follow me. Principal Short Bosoms is gonna get trolled so hard. Just come inside here. Yo. Look, you just gotta put the poop bag next to that piston. Yo, you're actually evil, Sonny. Bro, this principal is gonna get dusted. And then I remove these trap doors. He won't be needing these decorations anymore. And then look. 
I got trip wires and string. I just gotta go like this and like that. And don't step on that melon, whatever you do. Why, what happens if I step on it? The poop drop! Oh, 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 bro, he's gonna get pooped on! Now that our prank is set up, I kind of wonder what else is in the principal's office. I've never been here before. Yo, you're right, bro. There's so many drawers, but why are they all empty? What's behind his desk? What does this say? Project Pig School? Whoa, what's in this drawer? Book and quill. Bro, do you hear that? The principal's on his way. We gotta get out of here now. Run, run. No, Melon. You got us pooped on. We gotta go. We gotta go. Gross, bro. Disgusting. Okay, I just escaped. The principal almost got back to his office. He would have caught us poop handed. Now, what's in this book? Project Pig School. Principal Short Bottoms in collaboration with... I'm having a hard time reading this. I'm gonna need Melon's help. He's got a bigger brain than me. Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going, right? Those potatoes. Yeah. Okay, guys, I lost the principal. I gotta reunite with Sonny. Melon, I need help. I need some help, Melon. What's up, Sonny? What's up? Come out here and read this for me. I don't know what it was saying. Project Pig School. Principal Short Puzzles in collaboration with Medellin Institute will be conducting an experiment. The experiment will be taking place in the school and will involve student mutation. What? The experiment will be testing Megalodon Industries' new product, Mutatron, by turning every student from this school into a pig, patented by Dr. Longbottoms. Bro, what? This experiment will be taking place at the last day of school. Caution, when you turn on the machine, evacuate the area immediately. Mine wave particles travel through blocks. What? Lab 72423. Sonny, this is bigger than us. This is huge, bro. The whole school's in jeopardy. This isn't good. Dr. Longbottoms is back. And anytime he's involved, things go horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, bro. I remember. He's the one that killed my parents. And he turned us into babies. Dang that, dude. Sonny and Melon, to the principal's office. Now. Uh, Melon? <laughs> Did you hear that on the loudspeaker? This isn't good. The principal's called us to his office. Bro, uh, I'm scared, Sonny. I hope he doesn't notice the book. I hope it's not about the poop either. I just hope he doesn't turn us into pigs because he's in on it with Dr. Longbottom. Yes, principal? I don't know why there's poop remnants. That's weird. Sonny, thank God. It's just about the poop. You're right. This could have been so much worse. Yeah, we're so horribly sorry. It'll never happen again. What? We're expelled? Dang it! Fine, we'll leave the premises immediately. Melon, we've got to get out of here and find a way to stop Dr. Longbottoms and the principal from turning all of our classmates into pigs. But what do we do, Sonny? I don't know. You're the one with the big brain. All right, let me calculate something. Sonny, I've got it. I remember when I was researching mind wave particles, there's one materials that can stop them. What's that? It's netherite, bro. Put on these netherite boots. The mind wave particles will come from the floor. So as long as you stop the entry point, you'll be okay. Are you serious? Netherite's a material strong enough to prevent mind wave technology particles? Yeah, bro. Follow me. We've got to save the school. This is so cool, Melon. I never thought being a nerd could be this awesome. Uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking radical, bro. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Gnarly, gnarly, bro. Sonny, we gotta start sneaking. We're gonna get on school property soon, and we're expelled. The security guards won't be happy to see us. Melon, it's the last day of school. We've gotta hurry if we're gonna save everyone. Sonny, the school's been locked down. Look at all the windows, bro. They're sealed up with iron blocks. Dude, this isn't good. The principal and Dr. Longbottoms, they've already started the experiment. Dude, we've gotta save everyone inside. We gotta hurry now. But Melon, how the heck are we gonna get inside? It's so fortified. I remember that acid dissolves metal. If we collect 432 redstone and mix it with 17 sulfuric water pieces, we can create sulfuric acid, which we can then use to dissolve two blocks to fit exactly our player models in. But maybe we'd have to lose a little bit of weight, so we'd have to go on a diet during all of this. And then- No, no, no! I just remembered there's a better way to get inside of the school. Follow me, Melon. What? What do you mean? Back when I was the school bully, I remember I flushed some little kid down a toilet, and I think he shot out right at the back of the school around here somewhere. Yeah, this looks like the place. There's gotta be a sewer system attached to this water. Um, 
I don't see- wait. Bro, you're right! I just found something! It's right here! Yeah! So if we just swim through this, we should be able to find our way back into the school. Yo, this is so sick! It's a little gross, actually, but it's worth it. We're gonna become heroes! Bro, I think I'm literally in a toilet right now. Dude, we're in the plumbing. We are in the school plumbing. Oh, Sunny, I'm drowning. I just came out of a toilet. That's so weird. Bro, that was trippy. But now we gotta be very stealthy, Sonny. We don't want the principal to find us. If anyone knows we're here, Melon, if anyone finds out we're in the school, they're gonna turn everyone into pigs before we have a chance to stop them. Where is their machine? Oh, I heard the principal, bro. I just heard him make a noise. The most evil sound of them all. Melon, I found a clue. It's complicated numbers. There's an algorithm. It's gotta mean something. No, bro, that's just when I solved pi last week. Give me the book, though, Sonny. I remember there's a code on it. Okay, I'll let you do the big brain reading. Lab 72423. Bro, it's the password to the locked locker downstairs. You're right. It was the one we couldn't put any potatoes inside of. That's gotta be the code to get in. We've just gotta sneak down to this locker and stop their plans. Sonny, it started! No! One of our classmates, she's been turned into a pig! We gotta hurry up, Sonny. We've gotta hurry up! Move it. Move it. Move it. Put in the code, Melon. Melon, don't tell me you forgot the code. Uh, no, don't worry. I remembered it. I was just double checking. Two, four, two, three. Yes! We've made it in, Sonny! Follow me! What is this? Where does this lead to? Dude! It's Dr. Longbottom's secret lab. We just gotta do a little bit of parkour to make it over. Yes! Make the jumps! Make the jumps! Yo, what is this? What do you think this machine does? Bro, it's the pig reactor, dude. Normally, the microwaves would have turned us into pigs by now. But because of our netherite boots, we're okay. You're right, bro. These boots are awesome. Now, we've got to figure out a way to stop this machine. We've got to find a way to shut off the reactor. Well, Melon, there's this really weird piston thing. What does this do? Bro, this is a piston to push this block to deactivate it. We just need to find a hand crank somewhere. Okay, Melon, let's look around the room really fast. Barrels, can't open these. Um, the pig, hello pig. Uh, do you know where a hand crank is? Bro, there's a brown valve handle. Yes, we can use this to deactivate the beacon. Dude, I can't turn it. Melon, we're gonna need to use both of our hands at the same time. Ready? Grab hold of the valve and crank it in three, two, one, go! Yes! Bro, we did it! We turned off the reactor. Self-destruct sequence initiated. T-minus 60 seconds. Meltdown. 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 Melon, did you hear that? We've got to get out of here. We got to get out now. And we've got to tell everyone to leave the school. We got to go. We got to go. We've got to tell everyone to get out of here. Quick, Melon. You go upstairs. I'll get the cafeteria. Everybody evacuate. Evacuate. Steve and cafeteria lady Steve. Let's get out of here. It's gonna blow. Run. Even you, Mr. Principal, you gotta get out of here. If anyone's in the gymnasium, you gotta leave now. Okay, Mel, I think we warned everyone. We have 30 seconds. Go, go, go. We gotta get to a safe distance. Come on, Melon. You've gotta move. Oh, wait, that's not you. That's your brother. Yeah, bro, it's okay. He's gonna be chilling. Melon, we did it. We got everyone to evacuate just in time. Self-destruct in three, two, one. One. Yo! Melon, the school! It's gone! Bro, all that matters is that everyone's safe, and we saved the day. And your cousin! He's alive! Let's go! Maramanino! What is wrong with you? What, bro? I just thought you'd want to remove your cousin from the blast zone. Dude, the blast zone already happened, and now you killed him. Good job. We did it! We saved the school! And you guys can save that subscribe button! Press it now! This is my Minecraft journey from the moment I was born until the day I became an old man. <laughs> Sonny, you look so dumb with that giant grandpa beard. I like the video right now to turn Melon into an old man too. Press it quick. Oh, my back. No!
Melon! I feel so tiny. Dude, look at you. You're a baby. Why am I a baby? Actually, this feels pretty right and comfortable. I think I'm just gonna cuddle up and relax and live life. Dude, I suddenly have a craving for warm milk. I need milk, Melon. Get me out of this baby gate. Here, let me help you. Let me help you, Sonny. Boost me. Boost me. Yes. Let me out. Oh, wait. We could have just broke it. It's pretty easy to break. How are you the world's strongest baby? That's crazy. Here, let me just let me just put that back. Yeah, we don't want our babysitter to know we busted out like that. Be careful. We gotta escape. Wait, I can't hit these walls for some reason. Dang it, bro. We can't bust out of here. It's not as easy. Wait a second. Our babysitter's not home. We don't have to worry. We can find another way out, Melon. Wait, do you hear that? Oh, she's here. She's just taking a big old poop. Yo, she's stanking up the bathroom. That's nasty. Yeah, she's pooping and farting. Wait, Sonny, do you see that right there? Yo, the window, it's open. Whoa, I escaped, Sonny. I see daylight. Oh, there's a cool park right here. Let's check this out. Yeah, I'm with you, Melon. I'm gonna hop on the carousel. Start it up. Yeah. Yo. Ow, ow, it's a carousel of death. Ow, Melon, get in here quick or stop it, please. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this slide instead. Hang you, Melon. Give me this in time to go on the ride of my life. Yo, that looks awesome. Yo, that was actually so epic. Here, my turn, my turn. Oh, Melon. My turn, I wanna go on it again. You know what, you have fun with that, bro. I'm taking my tricycle and I'm leaving <laughs> you behind. Melon, I don't think this is a good way to ride a tricycle i'm scratching my butt does is your butt okay <laughs> it looks like it's hurting ow ow i'm getting a major case of bottom rug burn ow oh this is very painful it does not feel good on the cement it doesn't but at least we're breaking out of daycare let's go bro go dude ultimate freedom these babies can't be held down these babies are gonna go to the most epic playground. Melon, look at this place. It's so beautiful. Look at the monkey bars and the swing set, bro. We busted out to get on the cool place. Let's go. This is where the big kids hang out, bro. Are you kidding me? Trampoline! Wait, Melon, I want to get on the trampoline. Wait for me. No, this is my trampoline. Nope, it's mine too. Boing. There's only room for one. Boing. Boing. Yo, how come you're going higher than me? Get out of here. You know what? Now, you made it bad. Ow! Wait, what's down here? Something's calling me down this path. This is so weird. What is it, Melon? What are you being drawn to? I don't know. I want to go to this school for some reason. It's like something, some part of me... <gasps> is drawn to it. You need the knowledge, bro. You're trying to get your fourth melon seed. Melon, we grew up a little bit. We're taller. Yo, you're right, bro. Something about this school made us age. That is so bizarre. Melon, did you hear that? Wait, Sonny, we gotta get to class. Oh, oh, oh crap, the bell rang. Follow me. I'm with you, bro. I forgot my agenda. Do you know which classroom we're supposed to be in? No, but... <laughs> I can smell it. I can smell the class. Follow me. That's a little sus, smelling. I don't know how you could smell a classroom from this far. You don't smell that knowledge? <laughs> Bro, oh, there's so much education. I can feel it. Room 305. It's in here. I'm sorry we're late, Miss Dingleberry. It won't happen again, all right? I don't know if you were smelling knowledge or Miss Dingleberry. She is stanky, bruh. Oh, she's got a few dingleberries, if you know what I mean. Gross, dude. No, what? We, don't, we didn't say anything. Nothing at all, right, Sonny? Uh, she doesn't smell that bad, Melon. She's kind of okay, our teacher. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. I don't want detention. I don't want detention. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Thank you so much, Miss Dingleberry. It won't happen again. Sonny, do you hear that? It's the bell. It's time for our next class. Let's go. Melon, I'm stuck under my desk. Melon, please help me. Let me help you. Hey, thanks. Dude, we got gym next. Uh, follow me. I know my way around this place. Dude, you've absorbed so much knowledge so quickly. I feel like I've lived here forever. Yo, Jim, let's go. Yo, Sonny, tag, tag, 
Tag you're it. You're it. <laughs> you're it. You're it. Got him. No tag backs. No tag backs. No tag backs. Bro, you what? How, who am I gonna tag? There's no one else in this class. Uh, Miss Dingleberry's upstairs. Uh, I'll be right back. And while Mel is doing that, let me see if I can find the weights. I'm trying to lift heavy weights and become the strongest eight-year-old ever. I'm gonna squat sets of 420 pounds. I just gotta find where they rack these weights up. Um, this doesn't look like the weight training room. What is this, Sonny? Don't know. I'm scared. Why don't you explore it first? You know what, Sonny? You're right. I'm the brave and courageous one. And the dumb one. What the heck? Oh, uh, Sonny, there's so many zombies. Help me. Okay, I won't leave my bro alone. I'm right here. I'm right here. Sonny, there's an escape route. We can go through the sewers. Are you serious? You expect me to jump into these nasty, stanky sewers? You know how much Dingleberry poops in here. This is the only way out. Oh, these zombies are scary, man. Ugh, gross. Disgusting. I know you're used to this stank with all your fertilizer and stuff, but this is gross. Sonny, that is so not cool. Hurry up! Uh, the zombies are only after you. I'm safe. Yeah, I just zoomed right <laughs> past them. Let's go goat mode. <sighs> Wait, there's a barrel over here, Sonny. Uh, you want to check it out since I was so brave before? Yeah, there's also a dead skeleton skull. Are you sure this is safe? <laughs> Yo! Emeralds! We're rich! Three stacks. Let's go! We're rich and... Ah! Ah! Sonny, I gotta move. I gotta keep moving. Sonny, follow me. We gotta get out of here. There's some weird pipes over here. Maybe there's an exit. Ow! Ow! Watch out for the zombie! Run! Dude, we gotta get out of the sewer system quickly! Yes! I found an escape! Yes! Uh. Uh. Melon? Sonny? Sir Quandale, Miss Dingleberry, and Mr. Barry are all here. What? Detention for the next five years? Are you kidding me? What? This is not cool! Melon, I can't believe we're stuck in detention for five years. But at least they didn't confiscate my emeralds. Yeah, at least we'll have something on the other side. This is so annoying though, Sonny. Five years, feel like I'm gonna go crazy. I know, and Miss Diggleberry still smells so bad. She needs deodorant. And what subject are we even learning? I think painting, bro. Just painting. What are we gonna do? Everyone knows an art degree is useless. This is what I think of your painting. And hi -ya! Uh, what did I just find? Melon, this could be our way out. I need you to distract Miss Dingleberry. You can give her an emerald or something, okay? Okay, okay. Hello, Miss Dingleberry. Uh, don't you like what I have? Yes, look at the greenness. Sunny. You'll have to go on without me. There's no way I can escape. I'm going. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I didn't leave you any more distractions. It's up to me. I'll get out of here. All right. Make us proud, Sonny. Make us proud. I'm breaking out of school, guys. I'm such a rebel. But how am I going to get off of this rooftop? <gasps> oh, this is scary. There's got to be a way down somewhere. Please find it. Yo, if I can land in this water. Just... Gotta clutch up. Yes! I'm alive! And I've escaped school. Melon, I'll come back for you. With all these emeralds, I'll be able to buy us a getaway mobile. Please, Sonny! Please! I think there's a motorcycle shop just around here. And I hear they'll sell bikes to anyone these days. Even kids. Let's see. Where's the vendor? Oh, here he is! Wait, how many emeralds for that bike? Dude! I can't afford that. 500 emeralds, that's a ripoff. Yo, how about this piece of trash red one outside? It looks a bit rusty and old. Yeah, one stack. You have a deal. One stack of emeralds. And now I can take this bike. Let's go. Melon, I'll be there soon. I just got to investigate our escape plan. Let's see what's at the end of this road. There's got to be something cool. Yo, the forest. This could be it. We can live off the fat of the land. I'm actually quite enjoying detention. I'm learning a lot. Look at this book, World Knowledge. I've learned so many things here. Hmm, this place isn't actually too bad. Yes, we could live here forever. Wait a second. There's something not quite right about this place. Why is the world border cutting it off? No, you gotta be kidding me. We can't be stuck in this city forever. Something's not right. 
right. I gotta go get Melon. He's been in detention for years. Melon, Melon, are you still in detention? Hey, Sonny, what's up? I'm coming to break you out of there. There's two seats on this bike. I don't know, Sonny. You're just a dropout, and I'm learning so many things here. As Aphrodite once said, knowledge is power, and power is wisdom. Melon, the school is corrupting you. You need to live free, fast, and die young. Uh, I'm good, Sonny. I don't want to join you in your dropout ways. I'm just gonna stay here and learn. Goodbye. I don't know what happened to Melon. He's changed. The books, they've corrupted him. He's no longer living a reckless lifestyle, free of the corporate world of the establishment. <sighs> I guess I still have to get a job if I'm gonna pay my bills. Dang it. The only thing I'm good at is driving. I hope this taxi company will hire me. Guys. After five years of detention, I'm finally free! Let's go! Just gotta head to my classroom and grab a few things. Wait, what's in here? Whoa, job offer for Melon? Yo, wait, I'm all grown up! I'm normal again! And now, it's time to work a job. This is gonna be awesome! I've been working this job for two years, guys. You can see I grew up. I'm a full Sunny again. This is my cab, and I'm going off to work today. I have an important new client. Just gotta go pick him up. And according to my GPS, I'm almost at my new client's house. Gotta pick him up and bring him to work. This is it here. Wow, that's a nice place. Look at this dude's pool. Excuse me, sir. You ordered a taxi. This is Sonny's Taxis Incorporated. Wait, Sonny? Is that you? Yeah, I'm a free agent working at the Taxi Corp, Cray Inc. I have my own little subsidiary, Sonny's. This is your house? Yeah, dude, this is my house. It's so awesome to see you, Sonny. It's been such a long time. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Uh, I just got a long day at work, so can you just drive me there? Sure thing, Melon. You're the boss today. I'll take you straight to your office. Thank you so much, Sonny. Feel free to adjust the radio, bro. I got all kinds of tunes on this. I just live free on the road every day. Oh, that's okay. I don't like listening to music. Like, you see this red light? Blowing it! That's really dangerous, Sonny. You shouldn't be doing that. It's okay. I run these streets. Everyone out here knows me. Uh, by the way, where's your office? Uh, I just thought I'd take you on a tour of the old school. Sonny, I need you to take me to the office. It's on 2nd and 3rd Street. Okay, you sound quite down. Are you catching a cold or something? No, it's just like a lot of work, man. It's my life now. Just busy? Just real busy? Real busy. Well, here we are. This is the office, right? Yeah. You want to see a tour of it? That would be great. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll show you around. I'm actually the manager of this establishment. Oh, that's great to hear. It sounds like you've been really climbing the corporate ladder, huh? Yeah, I really have. Quandale, shut up! This is the place. It's pretty cool. And yeah. Guys, I do not want to get on Melon's bad side. Poor Quandale. So, Melon, everything's good with you then, right? I can just pick you up after work? Yeah, that would be great. Have a nice day, Sonny. Hey, same to you, bro. Have a good one. See ya. Get back to work! Hey, guys, I really do not feel good about that experience. Melon seems really bummed out from work. I feel like the corporate structure's just not meant for him. He's supposed to be out living free in the farm patches, but now Melon is grinding away, wasting his entire life. His melon top was even turning gray. Did you see that? It's it's not the life for him. I gotta find a way to get him out of this rut. Let's see, I've got an idea. I'm gonna put an emerald in the passenger seat here and then tell Melon that he left it in the car. Uh, excuse me, can you get- Melon, your employees are very rude. What did they say, Sonny? I will discipline them. Um, you don't need to discipline them. And actually, they said nothing. That was really the problem. I was trying to get them to get you for me, but at least now I got your attention. So, Melon, I, I just needed to check in with you. It's company policy. Uh, you left something in the vehicle. I'm gonna need you to come and make sure that it's yours or I have to bring it to Lost and Found. Okay, I will go check it out. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, just out here in, in my nice yellow taxi. Okay, where is this item? I don't see it. Other side, is that your emerald? Uh, you could very well be. I have so many emeralds. Is that your emerald as well? Yeah, I see some more emeralds in here. They could be mine. Sonny, what are you doing? I locked the doors! You're not getting out of this vehicle, Melon! You're coming with me! I have a lot of work to do right now. Melon, you're coming with me, bro! I'm bringing you back to where we were first babies together. Do you remember this place, huh? Do you remember this playground? You used to have so much more energy, so much more life. I did. 
I do remember that a little bit. Times were simpler. Oh, could you spin me around, Sonny? Sure thing, Melon. Anything to get you out of your rut. Are you having fun? <laughs> Yo! This is awesome! Wait, that's the old Melon I know. He's back, guys. You're back to normal. Let's go. Yo, I can't wait to ride this cart all the way down. That's the wrong way. I'll boost you. Don't worry. Stay in the cart. I got you, brother. Go. Have the time of your life. Marilyn, one question for you. What's up? You remember in school when we got detention? Back when we were younger and happier? Mm-hmm. There was a place down there that we never fully explored. But today, we're going to find out what lurks below the sewers. Yo, a good old mystery. I love this. Just follow me. I don't need my windows anymore. Not where we're going. Melon, I've stored some supplies in here for decades. Whoa. What are we using that TNT for? You'll know when you see it. Why do we need netherite armor? Just in case. We don't know what lurks beneath the sewers. And here, I'll give you a crossbow and a bunch of arrows. Whoa, this is crazy, Sonny. And I'll give you half of our original loot. I've been saving these emeralds ever since we were babies. Hey, don't point that at me. That's dangerous. Hey, you forgot your booties. Oh, no, I, I got my boots on. Those are your boots. No, no, those, I got my boots on, dude. Those are your boots. Oh, my gosh, my boots were glitching. Give me my boots back. What, are we in a simulation or something? Yeah, that would be freaking weird. That'd be freaky. Okay, now, Melon, follow me. Oh, we can't fit out of this window anymore. Turns out we're not that small. Uh, we can use the front door. Oh, true. Yeah, let's get rid of this baby gate. And let's roll. Melon, get in, get in. I mean, oh, sorry about that. I still never really got me driver's license. Oh, that is extremely dangerous, and I am entirely scared right now. You know me. I like to live recklessly, bruh. I convinced the taxi corporation to let me drive because I gave them extra emeralds. Melon, do you remember where the school is? Uh, yeah, you went past it. Okay, I'm gonna make a left turn here. Okay, yeah, that works. This works. It's all right. I'm taking the long way, the scenic route. Might want to take another left. Yep, and then from here. You're gonna wanna take a right. Please don't go to your old offices. Ignore that. You saw nothing. Oh, uh, what did I talk about? No, you saw nothing, Melon. Your old offices. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Sonny. Oh, dude, I thought you turned into a corporate zombie again. Yo. Where's the sewer place? Where are you going? There it is, Sonny. Take a left. No, left. A left? Yes. Yes, a little bit more of a left. There you go. Oh, there's the sewers. Thanks, Melon. Where would I be without you? Run him over! This is for five years of detention. Wait, Melon, I have a better way to solve this. Hold on, let me handle it. Oh, yep, that works out perfectly. That's why I brought the TNT. They still survived. And not for long, Sir Quandale and Miss Dingleberry are no more. We're free. <laughs> now, let's see what's down in these sewers. Bro, there was a lot of zombies down here. I don't think anybody even knew about this. We might have been the first people to explore the sewers ever since they were constructed in the year 100. This is so weird. Big jump, big jump. Make the jump, Melon, Melon, Melon! It's fine, you have netherite. You're fine, you have netherite. You're fine. What is this? The legendary hand crank. Everyone knows this is the most mysterious item in Minecraft. I'm gonna put it right here and hopefully nothing bad happens. I will crank it. Whoa! What did we just discover? Crank it. Crank it again. I'm cranking that soldier. Keep cranking. Crank that soldier. Ow. Ow. Sonny, do you have a pickaxe? Uh, no, but I do have TNT. Here, we'll break it by hand. Yeah, that's probably the better idea. Now that we're adults, we're so much stronger. It's easy. Wait, what are these sounds? Yo, pillagers! What the heck? What did we find? I knew this place was cursed. Take them out. Sonny. Fire back. Eliminate them. Show them who's the more powerful range weapon at point blank. Yes. Uh, what the heck are they up to? Let's find out. Yo, key card? And there's a button. Whoa! That's epic, Melon! Sonny, what did you just press? Uh, I don't know. I think we're fine. There's lava directly above us, but I think we're okay. Yo, city project outbreak. What the heck? They have so many zombies. Dude, there's villagers. Yo, what? Yo! Yo, the zombies got out. Sonny, what do we do? We gotta defend ourselves. Kill them! 
Oh wait, there's too many. There's too many. Just run. Just run. You have the key card. Melon, there's a key card thing right behind you. Put it in the security. Yo, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Sonny, come. Melon, please. Melon, please. Come, Sonny. I'm trying. Open the door. Thank you. Yo, kill this one. He got out. He got out. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yo, we're safe. We're safe. In case of facility breach, immediately evacuate. Yeah, this is not good. We gotta get the heck out of here. What? <laughs> the heck are these plans, Sonny? What is going on? What have we uncovered? Melon, this place is so sus. Let's explore and see if we can learn more about it, though. Melon? What'd you find? What'd you find? Come in this room. There's two chairs with a gold block and a melon block. What does that mean, bro? What happens if I flick this leather? Don't flick it. Just come and sit down. Melon, just sit down, bro. I want to swap brains with you. <laughs> Eh, just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Oh, wait, no. I'm stuck in my chair. Melon, please. No, please help. There you go. There you go. Just, just walk forward. Why do I always get stuck on chairs? Okay, I'm good. On a real, though, what is that? That is really weird. I don't know, Sonny. I'm just as confused as you. Wait, this is a map of the village. Birth, school, job, death. Wait, death? Sonny, simulation 143. Same subject, Sonny and Melon. Dude, don't tell me this isn't real. Sonny, come to think of it, it was weird, bro. We aged so rapidly in school, from birth to school, and then when we got our job, we aged at an insane rate. I didn't even think about it. Dude, that's true. Right after detention, you became an office zombie. Sonny, I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Sonny! Melon! Melon! They're here for us! They're here! I'm destroying this simulation, Melon! Get to the evacuation portal! Blow it up! Go! 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 In the portal! Melon! We made it! We're back in normal Minecraft! It's so beautiful, sheep! And I can even go and punch a tree! Oh, yes! Normal world. Getting wood. The first achievement in Minecraft. Melon, you're so talented. I know. And if you guys want to be as talented as me, which is almost impossible, make sure you like and subscribe. This is Minecraft hide and seek, but spin the wheel chooses where we hide. Oh, not the cafeteria again. And if I land the wheel on red, you guys have to click the big red subscribe button. Let's go. Bro, we're back in school. It's time for hide and seek, except there's a wheel spinner that's gonna decide your fate, Melon. Dude, I hope I get the entire map so then I can just fly off into the distance and you'll never find me. <laughs> Dude, you need to chill out. That would be so cringe. That wouldn't even be hide and seek. You'd just be cheating and leaving the world. Uh, it would still be hide and seek because you'd never find me. Bruh, I could just do this then. Bye. No, he's gonna win. Nah, bruh, that would be so boring. But I'm gonna spin this wheel and it's for my hiding spot, okay? All right, bro, spin it. The first spin is gonna be... What hiding spot? Where am I going? Where am I going? Hold me back. Hold me back, baby. Foot Football field! Let's go! Sports! Sport ball! Yo, wait, you're hiding in the football field, Sonny? This is gonna be so easy to find you. I don't know about that, bro. I'm pretty athletic. <laughs> so get behind that green screen before I pummel you into a green field! Okay, chill, chill. I'm looking at the wall, all right? All right, give me my two-minute warning. Two minute. You got two minutes. Okay, guys, I have two minutes to hide. But most importantly, I want to show you this over here. Before we even joined the server, I placed a pickaxe and an exploding diamond an ore block with about a hundred TNT underneath it and a security camera right up there. So if I peep the camera monitor, look at this. I could see myself. I could see Melon. And I bet after I tell him the game is on, he'll probably spot this and be so stupid and come and break the diamond door and explode. It's going to be a perfect trap to start today's video. Now on to my real hiding spot. I got to go to the football field and I don't have much time left. So let's just go ahead and run to the side of the school and take a shortcut to the back area where all the sports ball happens. Like, I love when Tiger Wood hit that field goal from the three-point line. That thing was crazy. Okay, I made it to the 
football field. Now I've got to choose my hiding spot super well. I could go underground in the field or I could turn two little tiny blocks in the field goal into ghost blocks. Nah, I don't want to do that either. I think I'm going to hide out in the stadium. So let's fly up here and I want to go into the umpire's box. So let's grab some ghosty blocks, maybe a security door. Yeah, let's go with one of these right here. Secret iron door like this. It's very indiscreet. And then I need a secret lever as well, I think, like this. And I'll place it right. Oh, that looks cringe. Right there. Now I can open the door and close it shut behind me. But where should I hide inside of this place? I gotta break some blocks out of here. That's a bit sus. What if I make this a bit thicker, actually? I need a world edit wand. And then I gotta go from here so it doesn't look too crazy. Go like that. And then I gotta bring this over here and be like, set smooth. Sandstone. Boom! That looks believable. And then we gotta go like this and like this. Set the smooth sandstone again. And then one more time from here to say like maybe all the way into these leaves. Boom! Now we've made this place thicker but still believable. And then we open this up, close it. Yo, I gotta close it over here too. I don't want him finding me from this side. And we do the same thing. Actually, I can make this even better. Look at this. Boom. And secret lever. Awesome. I gotta fix this stone door now. Like this and like this. Beautiful. My hiding spot is almost ready. Then I punch these blocks out as well. Like this. And now I put ghost blocks. Yes. So that I could see everything and be fully hidden inside of it. Now we go survival mode and I'm ready. Dude, I'm in my hiding spot. I'm good to go. Finally, Sonny, you took- Bro, what the heck is this, dude? There's a pickaxe right here. And there's diamonds. Give me the diamonds. Yo! No! <laughs> Bro, how was that diamond? Bro, what was that? There was so much TNT. I pranked you, dude. I set that booby trap days ago. Dude, that is so messed up, Sonny. You're wasting my time and you got my hopes up. Bro, I knew you were too greedy to resist those diamonds. Oh, just for that, Sonny, I'm gonna find you twice as fast. Just let me get to this football field. Where do I go? Hey, I found a wee. Yeah. Uh, your five minute timer's ticking away, bro. Dude, I found you, eh? There's no chance you found the field already. Bro, I know where the football field is. I literally <laughs> go to. I know this map like the back of my Rhine. True, because you're a linebacker, bro. You're one of those big boys built like a fridge. Now, what are you up to? You're probably doing something sussy and being under the map somewhere. Am I right, Sonny? <laughs> if that's your first question, the answer's no, you bozo. Nice work, bro. And Enjoy the football field. Bro, what? You have to be at the football field. Yeah, I'm at the football field area. I'm looking at you right now. Sonny, second question. Are you in the stands? No, I mean, uh, yes. Dang it. Why would you ask that? I'm so smarter. And now I find you. Let me get to you. Why are you still trying to be my sensei? Yo, these blocks look sus. Can I go in? Bro, you need to chill out. You need to chill out. Make sure you check all of the stands very thoroughly. I could be anywhere. Yeah, before I do that, I'm gonna check this main uh, point. How do you get in that room? What are you talking about, bro? There's no way in there. Bro, there is definitely a way in there. There has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all think. Wait, these are secret doors. I can see it. What? Chill, chill. Yo, they're button doors. Let me in. Now I've entered, son. You thought you could hide from me. Where are you? I think I saw something sussy in these floors. Is this a secret trap door somewhere? Yeah, super sussy. Guys, that was so close. Melon looked right in my direction. Bro, I swear I saw something move. It looked weird. Is there a secret iron trap door? Come on. I know you're below here. How do I get down? Carefully, Melon. Very carefully. Maybe examine that hopper more closely. I'm looking at all the hoppers and there's nothing in there. It just makes no sense. Okay. Just wanted to waste more of your time. Wait a second. What is he doing, guys? <laughs> Melon, what are you doing, bro? I'm checking these blocks, bro. Something's funky in here. Nothing's funky funky in this room. I'm not even in this room. That is such cap, bro. I bet you these are like one-way glasses or something. Yeah, bro. They probably oh. are. Yo, what the? Yo, wait, 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 wait. I just saw a little yellow thing. Ooh! 
Uh, yo, I heard you drop down. Get back here. Oh, where are you, Sonny? Where are you? I found you. I tagged you. Dang it. What the heck, Melon? How did you see me? Bro, because when I got punched, I turned around right away. And I saw this little yellow pixel disappear into the wall. Dang it. I thought I was quick enough with it. Nope. You got cocky, Sonny. And you know what I do to cocky people? I don't, actually. I find them in hide and seek. Oh, okay. That was kind of anticlimactic. Get out of here. No! Melon, look at the crater you left here. Shut up, Sonny. I know you trolled me. Can we just move on and spin that wheel? All right, I'm on it. Your spin is landing on. Come on, be garbage, be garbage, be garbage. Yes, yes. <laughs> the library. Yo, that's goaded. What do you mean? You're acting like that's trash, but that's the goat sauce. Bruh, the library is small and there's only one of them. Uh, I'll make my own library. That would actually be very impressive. Good luck, Melon. Two minutes starting now. Okay, guys, I don't even know where the library is. I believe it's on this floor and I think I have to turn down this hallway and then yes, yes, here's the library. I found it. Now I gotta make myself a secret room that Sunny could never discover. So let's enter creative mode and look at some of these secrets. <laughs> Now, I think what I'm gonna do is add a secret stone button as one of these bookshelves. And what this button's gonna do is trigger a secret room. I put it right about here. Actually, let's put it right here. Oh, oh, but it has to be a bookshelf. Now, this acts as a button. And then right here, I'll make this bookshelf a secret trap door. Oh, that is not, okay, That that is not worth, okay. We're gonna do a secret door. Or just a normal secret iron door. Here we go. Bro, it don't even work. Okay, there we go. Check this out. Secret door, you have to press that bookshelf. Dig it out a little bit. And this will be one of my secret escapes to get away from Sunny. Now to build my main hiding spot. Hmm, I've got me an idea. <laughs> Yes, it's going to be genius. Place me a secret iron door right here. So when you step on this pressure plate, it opens up into a secret room. So now there's this secret trap door. So when you click on it, boom, it opens up and it's gonna dig into my secret tunnel system that goes below the library. I'm gonna make this tunnel system very intricate. Well, let's put a fake wall right here, which leads to the second layer of my deep tunnel system. Just in case, another ghost block layer. And then we'll have another escape route. Let me grab these ghost block stairs. Let's add a secret clamber right here, along with another iron door combined with a secret stone button. So you have to go up, boom. Hey, hey, let me out. Let me out and boom, you can get out. Uh, but the only problem is you can't actually get back in because that button's hidden from there. So it's a one-way exit, which works out perfectly. Yes, I am so very secretive. There's no way Sunny is gonna be able to find me this round. Melon, are you ready yet, dude? This is taking forever. Yeah, bro, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you. All right, perfect. And goats watching, I got something in my hand to show you. Ever wondered why they called this thing a ghost block? It's because it has sharpness 255, knockback 255, and it'll turn anyone it touches into a ghost! Melon! I got something special for you. Bro, what are you doing? It's top secret, bro. You'll know when you see it. Now, where's the library? Teacher's room. Hey, you'd be in there. You're a real teacher's pet. I already know. Hey, dude, I'm not a teacher's pet. I'm a, I'm a melon's uh, fruit. No, you're a teacher's pet and we know it. You know how kids give an apple to their teachers to be like, hey, I'm really nice and a good suck up? That's what you do with watermelons. You're like, hey, teacher, you can just have a little bite out of me if you want. I'm a delicious, juicy watermelon. Yo, dude, that is not true. That's Cap. I would never do that. <laughs> but yeah, it sounded kind of weird anyways. Okay, this is the bathrooms. Bro, where's the library at? Utilities, storage. Do you want to ask a question to find a library? No, I will find it on my own. I have five minutes and I know the clock is ticking, but I can track down a library. I need to save my questions for more important things. Like what? Like, uh, I'll know when I find the library what to ask. Cafe, supply room, 
Dude, which one's the library? Science lab? Really? Athletic director's office? I can't find the library. Security? It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, more bathrooms. Maintenance facility. Bro, it's on the first floor. You're so trash. Support department? This is where you'd be, Melon. Because I am going to give you the support in the form of a ghost block to the head. We'll see about that. Finance and science and art. Bro, where's the library? Wait, I think I know. It's down this hallway. Please, 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 please. Library. Science. There's been too much science. Yes! The library! You found it, Sonny. Good job. I'm going to sniff you out, Mr. Melon. <sighs> Yo, you're being weird, Sonny. Can you keep walking around more? Yeah, you're under here somewhere. Yeah, good luck finding me, bud. Bro, you're literally underground. I can hear you moving. You're not allowed to dig. That's cheating. What do you mean? You're like a little rat underground running around. No digging, Sonny. I didn't dig to find you. Fine, hold on. Let me look for the secret blocks. Step on these pressure plates. Hopefully nothing explodes. Yo, it did something. Are you kidding me? I'm dropping in, Melon. Yo. Oh, Sonny, we can talk about it. That's not good. You have a creepy maze in here? Yo, it's a ghost block. I need to dig out of here now. It's another ghost block. Yo, that wasn't there a second ago. Sonny, stop, stop. It's glitching. Chill. Melon. Yeah, you want to see a glitch, bro? Stop. Why am I glitching? No. <laughs> Are you missing this secret clamber? What is a clamber? It's not even a ladder. Bro, I'm out of here. Wait. Where's the secret block? Yes. Let me escape. Let me escape. Yes. What the heck is this? You have to stay in the library. You can't leave the library. Technically, I'm still in the library area. Good. How do I get out of here now? Dude, what are those clamber blocks? I found you for the record, but I'm giving you a second chance because I felt bad that your thing glitched. Don't worry about the clambers. I am so lost. How do clambers work? Whatever. I'm just going to punch this. It's going to take a while to punch this. Okay, be patient. I will still find you. I can smell that watermelon from a mile away. It smells like cow poop. Hey, I'm out. Yes. Now, where are you? Was this here before? What? Or is that me? What are you talking about? There is a random hole in the library. Mm. What do you mean, hole? Dude, are you back underground? That's my first question. Nope, I am not. Okay, that means I can come back up. This is good. I don't need to waste any more time. Second question, Melon. Are you hiding in a secret ghost block somewhere in the library? Uh, I'm not in a ghost block, no. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, I don't know what else to ask right now. I gotta hold off on my questions. There's gotta be something else. Where are you hiding? Chilling like Billy. Last question. Are you hiding in another secret spot? Maybe not under the library, but do you have some weird other thing going on? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what the heck? Where is the secret button or something? Uh, it's definitely not a secret bookshelf. That's all. Don't touch the bookshelves. I'm looking at them. None of these look secret. Click on every single block in the game. Wait, maybe if I look from the outside, it'll help. Let's take another gander. Oh, you could have been in this part of the library. What the heck? Yo, this wall looking kind of thick. This wall looking kind of sus. No, you're not there. What the heck? Bro, I just opened it up and you didn't even hear it. What is going on, Melon? You got one minute left, Sonny. Gotta be on one of these walls. I'm clicking everything. Oh, it's this one. It's gotta be this wall. This one's in shadow. It's got a weird shadow, but you're not here. What do you mean? What the heck is this? You said you're in a secret. I am. This doesn't make any sense. Guys, that was so close. That was so close. I know you're here somewhere. I smell that cow poop. I just don't know how to open these things. I don't know what you're talking about, Sonny. Bro, how do I open it? I'm not your brah. Whatever. I'm just gonna start punching everything. 30 seconds left, Sonny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break it some blocks now. This is all because of you. Yo, you're cheating. Stop. You're cheating. You literally cheated. And this is an iron door. How was I supposed to open it? There's a button. Where? I'm pressing it. It literally doesn't work. Are you such cap, bro? You're literally capping. Look, I'll show you. By the way, you ran out of time. You press that. That's the button right there. Melon, you ever wonder why they call it a ghost block? No, no. Get away. Get away from me. 10 seconds left. You can't leave the library or you lose. Okay, you lose. No, wait, 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 wait. Ah! That's why it's called a ghost block. Bro, that was the weirdest round of hide and seek ever. You cheated, and then I cheated, but then you also cheated. So, like, let's just call it a draw. All right, I like that. Tie game. Good one. And now it's my turn to spin the wheel. But first, I want to ghostify you. Bro, you literally are one-shotting me. Why is there... No, Shawnee. Melon, Melon, hold up, hold up. Don't run. Just stand here. Trust 
trust me. I want to show you something cool. Stand up on this. Trust me. And ready, steady, fly. Sonny, it kills me in one shot. Why are you so annoying? But your dead body goes like 100 feet. You're the first melon to ever fly. Stop it. You can jump over the whole crater. Ready? Spin the wheel. Just spin the wheel. You don't seem that enthusiastic about me spinning the wheel. So let me just come smack you. No, no, I'm not gonna let you smack me, Sonny. It's not gonna happen. No! And now I spin that wheel. Give me something goaded. Yes, keep going. Keep going. I get to swim in the pool. Yo, bro. Congratulations. You get to extinguish your flames with the pool. Yep, sure do. Give me that ghost block right now, Sonny. Or I'm going to get really mad. Okay, here. You can have it. You scumbag. <laughs> what? You don't like it without the enchantments? Oh, it's okay, Sonny. It's okay. Just wait till I enchant this and I find you. You got two minutes, buddy. You got two minutes. Guys, where's the swimming pool? I gotta make an epic trap as soon as possible. Where is it? I think it's out here somewhere. Come on, swimming pool. Where are you? The swimming pool is up here. So I'm gonna make a ladder that goes up and then I'm gonna make another ladder that goes up even more. And hopefully Melon is really dumb and falls for this. Let's just go like this. Try and send him on a wild goose chase. He's gonna be all the way up here. And then check this out. I'm gonna make a fake swimming pool and I'm gonna make it out of Melon blocks. He won't be able to resist world edit from there to there outline melons and then i need to do this oh no i did something wrong uh <laughs> i didn't mean for it to be like this let's see if we can get this right we want the top path there we go perfect and then i need to make this hollow boom the perfect swimming pool the ultimate distraction wait i can make this even better setting it to fake water so if melon goes for a dip in there he's gonna die and then we put these little ladders like this to attract him oh this is perfect look at this and now i make a watermelon wall to block this out he won't notice the swimming pool and he'll be forced to break watermelons if he wants to go in here or find another way in i guess that works too beautiful my first trap has been laid now i go in the swimming pool for myself let's see where should i hide for starters i think i'm gonna modify the entire edge of this pool into cages beautiful Full. And I'll fix the diving board up. And the diving board looks good, but the whole outer edge is cage traps. Now, I have to hide in the pool area, which means Melon's gonna be super suspicious that I'm in here. So what I'm gonna do is create a fake room right here using ghost blocks. Cover it up. Let the water all drain out. But instead of this having what he expects down here, it's gonna be some fake lava. And then there's gonna be another tunnel that goes deeper. So so if he finds this, he's going to be even more confused. And then it's going to lead to this room that's going to have a lot of TNT under it. And here is the trap. We put this. We put the trap chest. Oh, wait. I can't open this now. Uh, <laughs> let me just break this one for a second. Trap chest. Inside of the trap chest is one Wandermelon. And now I just got to relay the TNT and the dirt. And it's perfect. Swim back up. The trap has been laid, and now all I've got to do is hide out right here on the diving board. And you might be asking yourself, how am I going to do that? Well, like this. I'm going to break these, and I'm going to install some additional iron blocks for height. And I will be inside of them, and there's still some nice decorative carpet on top. Put the ladders back. Oh, you can't put ladders on ghost blocks? Oh, well. Melon won't notice the difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. And now I just let him know I'm ready. Melon, I'm in my hiding spot, bro. About time, Sonny. And I've got a special present for you. Under the sea. Under the sea. Sonny's hiding and I'm gonna smack him and kill him with a sea pickle. No, anything but a sea pickle. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna slap this moist slime on you and you're gonna feel disgusting. You are an animal that is so gross and now i've entered the pool bro you think these cage traps can stop me bro i'm a master of parkour yo i actually cleared it i'm goaded dude you need to relax you need to chill out no i placed my sea pickle down 
<laughs> Your sea pickle is gone forever. Nope. I just had to retype in the command. Now, where are you, Sonny? I don't know, Marilyn. You may have to look deeper. It's okay. I'm digging these blocks out, Sonny. I'm gonna... Sniff you out, boy. Oh, I found something that looks a little suspicious. Melon, chill, bro. Some running water is right here. Yo, this this block breaks real easily, huh? That's suspicious. Melon, there's actually nothing there. What? Yeah, there's nothing there. Bro, that's Cap. It's not Cap. I actually, be honest, I'm trying to help. Then what the heck is this? It's probably part of the map, dude. It's like how they clean the pool. It's the, uh, you know, the filter and stuff. Bro, this makes makes no sense. Are you... Oh, you're capping so hard right now. All right, I'll give you a hint, okay? You have to swim to the bottom of the pool. Uh, Sunny, why is there a torch down here? No cap. It wasn't my doing. No cap? How can you see me right now? No cap. By looking up out of my one-way glass trap. Up out of it, bro? I'm below the pool. And I am way down there, bro. That's why I'm trying to help you to get you on the right track sooner than later. What the heck are you doing? Just move around. You'll figure it out. I am moving around. Touch everything at the bottom of the pool. I figured you would have swam and found it by now. I'm looking everywhere. Melon, just look down. You're right there. You're almost on it. You got this. It's the center. It's literally the middle of the whole pool. I can't breathe. I can't breathe you. I can't breathe a you are. Where is this? Yo, I found it. There you go. Now, good luck with the rest. This is real lava, isn't this? I'm just gonna grab some dirt really quick. And I'm gonna go like that. No, you're supposed to die in the lava and maybe find the path that it leads to. You're not supposed to just do that. Yo, this is very fascinating. What have I found here? Yo, a trapped chest, Sonny. You don't think I see that, do you? Bro, I'm too smart for you. Nice TNT, bro. I'm still gonna detonate it because I'm the goat like that. Get out of here. You're dead. You're so dead. Oh my. I actually did it, bro. Where are you? You should be dead. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I was looking down at you because I built another swimming pool on top of the swimming pool roof. What? <laughs> Yep. Why are there so many melons in the window? No, not this stupid trap. Yeah, I was waiting for you to notice that. Let me up. Let me up. How much time do I have left? You have one minute left, melon. It's okay. That's plenty of time to destroy you, Sonny. Yeah, whatever you say. This is stupid. Let me build. Let me build. You are so slow at building. Bro, you can't build on the slabs. Yo, Sonny, this is a, such a weird pool. Oh, stay away from my pool, bro. Are you even up here, bro? Yo, this is... This, this is a cat pool. This pool doesn't make any sense. Did you go in it yet? Take a bath? Yeah, it's it's fake water, bro. Does it feel good? No, where are you? It's the melon pool, bro. It's dangerous. Dude, where are you? I'm so lost. Well, you have 30 seconds left, bro. You might as well use your questions quick. Oh, you're right. I have all three. All right, Sonny, are you upstairs? Are you in this fake pool? Nope. Sonny, are you in the main pool? I'm not in the main pool, but I'm in the main pool room. Oh, my lord. Dude. Dude, got no time for this nonsense. Sonny, are you under the bleachers? Nope. <laughs> 10 seconds remaining. Goggles of true vision. Do I see anything sus? Five, four, <laughs> three. Where are you? Your true vision is letting you down, bro. I don't understand. Where are you? Look up. You're out of time. I don't see you up. Ow. You don't see the diving board? Oh my. How did I not notice this? You lost, bro. You're out of time. Keep your seat pickle away from me. I'm still slapping you. Ugh. Melon, I can't believe you lost that round. You didn't see the diving board. Hey, yo, you salty. Spin the wheel, Sonny, right now. Okay, you got it. The wheel is spinning, dude. What are you going to get? Let's see. You've got to hide. Oh, no. You actually got the most overpowered spot in any classroom. No. Yeah, that's my win. See you later, Sonny. I'm going to go hide and you're never going to find me. Peace. Okay, Melon. Two minutes starts now. Guys, I'm going to hide in the closest classroom to Sonny. And he's never gonna suspect a thing. <laughs> Yo, what the heck is this classroom? Wait, give me all the scaffolding. I can take this and I can climb all the way up. Yo, guys, why can I see blocks breaking inside of the school through this wall? That was really weird. Look at that. What the heck? I don't even mean to cheat right now. I'm just counting, staring at the wall. But uh, I guess this green screen works pretty good. I know Melon's somewhere over there. Yo, 
world. Get me all the way up. Yes. And now, oh, I gotta break the last scaffolding though. No, I gotta break the last scaffolding. Uh, I'll just break some of that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Then, where do I hide him from here? Mm, oh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide right in this window. But I'm gonna cover the front part up with ghost blocks. He's never gonna know. Here we go. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cover up this part of the window too. Yes, cover it all up. I'm completely hidden. Sunny, I'm ready. Okay, bruh. I won't even use goggles of true vision to find you. Uh, yeah, they're banned. They're illegal, dude. You used it last round and you still lost. That's because you were a dirty cheat and you were throwing me off. Well, I was just playing smart, that's all. Okay, guys, here's the thing. While Melon was doing his build, I kept seeing stuff break through this wall. It was really weird. So I know he's in this general direction on the school, which means he's somewhere in this general area. So I don't need the goggles of true vision, but I do need some building blocks. Hey, Melon, I'm allowed to spawn a bunch of blocks, right? Uh, sure. All right, cool. Give big man Sonny. Uh, what kind of blocks can I get? Mm, you can get dirt. All right, dirt, 100. That's plenty. And then I just have this sneaking suspicion, Melon, that you're somewhere over here. Being sus, Sonny. I'm really not, though. I just have this sense, this sixth sense to smell out Wandermelon. That looks real, real, real. I wish I had a pickaxe right now, Melon. Can I spawn one of those in too? Um, I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look real. <laughs> Melon, are these ghost blocks by any chance? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Sonny. That looks like a real block. Hey, yo, chill. Get over here. No, I win. I win. Yo, what the heck? Smack you over the edge. That's it. I'm getting my ghost block. Where is it? Go through the chat log. There it is. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? There's nowhere to go except into your death. No. I turned you into a ghost, bruh. How did you find me so quick, Sonny? Melon, you're gonna have to check the replay. I don't know how to explain it. I was behind the green screen counting and then I kept seeing blocks breaking over there. It was like I was seeing the particles of the blocks. Bro, that is bogus. Are you kidding me? Get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Stop killing me, Sonny. The only thing that should be killed is that like and subscribe button. Today in Minecraft, I built a secret vent to hide from my friend Merlin. Sonny, where are you? <laughs> he really has no idea. Goats, please tell me where Sonny is in the comments down below. I'm so lost. Oh, do you guys see that in this vent? It's not purple. It's actually the subscribe button. Press it now. Yo, bro, are you ready for this hide and seek? Yeah, let's do it, Sonny! Yo, chill, yo, chill! Relax, Sonny. You're hiding first. You got two minutes, and it's gonna take me that exact amount of time to find you. Good luck. Yo, chill. Get back over here. I wanna see something. I wanted to count one, two, three, four melon seeds in that brain, plus a knuckle sandwich! Girl, get out of here! Okay, guys, I have two minutes to find my hiding spot. I've got to think very carefully. Psych! I don't got to think about nothing. Check this out. If I just go over past the cash money facility and then take a left around this corner, hop up on the bush. Yo, this bus got a serious trunk on it. Look at all the loot in here. This looks cool. Honestly, I should just hide it here. It's probably got diamonds and emeralds and gold. Sonny would be rich back in this truck. But actually, what I'm going to do is even better. Look at this. Look at this. I go right here. See underneath the giant 18 wheeler truck? All I gotta do is lay down and crawl into this little hole. Boom! Now I'm underground in a top secret hidden facility. This is my secret vents. I paid a builder $100 to construct this secret layer for me. And now as you can see, I'm underground and I can see through most of the roads and all these little hidden pockets. There's no way Melon's gonna find me. Plus I can just spy on him. This is gonna be so funny. Hey Melon, I'm in my hiding spot, brother, and I'm ready. It's about time, Sonny. Taking this blindfold off, and now I'm gonna find you. Mm, open this door up, put the blindfold back like a civilized melon would do. Now, where are you, Sonny? 
Three. Yo, guys, I could see Melly just ran straight over me. Oh, I just realized I got to crouch. I don't want him to hear my footsteps. No, Shunny. Would you be hiding in the comic section? That's not my question. Not my question, Sonny. I'm just thinking out loud right here. I do like myself some comic books, bro. Maybe you should disguise as like Batman or Superman or Deadpool. He's pretty goaded. Yeah, I may have found something for later. <laughs> We won't talk about it, though. And if you were really smart, you'd put on the Doctor Strange head and you would analyze every of the 45 billion scenarios of my hiding abilities. Yo, you are so intelligent. I'm gonna go do that right now. Get me back to this comic shop. Hey, Melon, you only have one minute left to find me. What? That's such cap, bro. I've been outside for like 30 seconds. You're right. It is cap. You've been searching for one minute, which means you got four minutes left. Chill, chill. Okay, where's Doctor Strange? There's Doctor Strange. Now let me use this hat and analyze your location. Computing. Oh, I see everything. I see past, future. It's all the same. You literally see nothing, bro. Guys, I just broke a block from under Melon's feet while he was using the Doctor Strange powers, and he didn't even notice. I know where you are, Sonny. You're right in this alley. You in here? You in here? You in here? Okay, Sonny, I confess it did not work at all. So I'm gonna ask my first question now. Are you hiding inside or outside? I guess the best, most honestest way I could answer that is I'm inside. Okay. I think it's, yes, it's inside. Yes, exactly. All right, you're being very sus right now. Okay, I guess second question, what building are you inside of? Uh, <laughs> it's a very long large building. The clue I'll give you is purple from Rainbow Friends would really appreciate my building. Bro, what? You're hiding in the vents? What building has vents? Let me think. Maybe the bank has some secret vents that you can use to rob the place. Yes. Yes, it must be. Guys, he's on to me. Except he's totally not. Because this isn't even attached to the bank. It's attached to a secret delivery truck. Mm, I am so confused right now. Uh, where else would there be vents? No, I don't I don't even know what this building is. Bro, where are you, Sonny? I don't have to tell you that, but I will inform you that you have less than two minutes remaining. Are you in the potions? The potions? Po oh, potions. Are you in the potions building? Bro, you really had to activate your fifth melon seed to read the word potions? Bro, I'm so confused. But to answer your question, no, I'm not in the potions. I already told you, I'm in the vents, bro. Purple hides here, bro. I see everything. All of it. Vents, where are the vents? Dang it, bro. How much time do I have? One minute remaining. Hey, Melon, where are you right now? I'm in, like, the street. I'm running around looking at through all the bit. <gasps> you did not hide in the city hall. You would not try and pull a fast one on me. Guys, he's going all the way back to the start. I think I should climb out of these vents and surprise him. Where are you, Sonny? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I gotta go in creative mode, and I gotta get the, the, the climbers. Yeah, the ghost climbers right here. And then I'm gonna go like this. Where's the melon? I don't see the melon. Coast looks clear. It's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. Get rid of it and uh, survival mode. Climbing. Where's he? Where's he? I don't see him. Coast is clear. Hey, melon. Hey, Melon, you got 20 seconds left. Bro, you're not in the city hall. I'm so confused. Guys, I'm right outside of city hall, hiding behind the stairs. He's not gonna find me. He's gonna run out of time and then be so annoyed that I was just chilling here. Sonny, I give up. I have no idea where you are. Hey, Melon, look back at city hall. Do you notice anything suspicious about the fountains? What the heck? You were not here the whole time. Yeah, dude, I was just blended into this little daisy flower that is such cap sonny me and you both know that's not true dude it's yellow i'm yellow you couldn't see me it's normal oh my days where were you i can't tell you bro you'll have to just try and find me the next seeker round sonny put the dragon head on it's my turn to hide okay let me just give you some stuff you probably need those to find your next hiding spot hey i don't like that sonny and now i get the blindfolded oh Melon, 
Mona, where'd you go? It's hard to breathe in this thing. You were sweating so much. It's so humid and disgusting and sticky and nasty. You're gross, bro. Where'd you go? You're so mean. I'm hiding now. Okay, I'm in town hall. Your timer starts now. You have two minutes. Okay, guys. I've got a goaded idea for my hiding spot. Shani's never gonna find me. Yo, bros, check this out. I'm gonna remove my blindfold early so I can see where I'm going. Now I must leave the town hall and climb down my secret new ladder. And look at this, I'm underground again. And let's just see where this melon's at. I'm gonna spy on him while he's finding his hiding place. This is good. This is actually goat <laughs> mode. Yo, guys, there he is. He's running down the main road. Where's he turning to? He's going into the cafe? Dudes, I'm gonna hide in the cafe and do something goat <laughs> moded. <laughs> All right, break this. Break this. Oh, wait, these are stairs. Nope, never mind. Never mind. Let me just replace those, please. Guys, Melon's gonna become a total cappuccino. He's in the cafe right now. He's gonna be such a liar. I guarantee when I ask him questions, he's gonna just be capping on me. Guys, I've actually got the perfect spot. Just gotta build up here. Break this. Place one or two ghost blocks. <laughs> Maybe even three. And then crouch jump. Yes! I'm completely hidden! And now, to break these stairs, and my hiding spot is complete. Yo, guys, Melon is so stupid. His hand is sticking out of that barrel there. He thinks he's hiding away with the cappuccino dispensers, but that espresso machine isn't even covering up his whole body. All right, Sonny, I'm ready. Okay, bro, I'm gonna leave the city hall now and uh, take my blindfold off and... Uh, <laughs> And come find you. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yep. Why do you sound so shush? It's not sussy. I'm just like kind of nervous because I'm in the lead right now and I want to make sure that I win this hide and seek. So yeah, just uh, a little more like this and that. Uh, yeah, okay, I put the dragon head back where it belongs. Perfect. Now, where's Melon hiding? The great, great question. Hey, Melon, do you mind if I ask some questions? track you down, you know? Uh, I would prefer if you just didn't ask questions this round and I could get the free win. Okay, then I guess I'll just have to go with my intuition. If I were a melon and I was salty right now, I'd probably transform myself into something that gives me the ability to lie. And if I looked around just a little bit out here, let's see, what do we got? We got like a bank. Oh, we got, what is this over here? This is called the Cyber Cafe. Yo, bro, are you cyber bullying me right now? Are you transforming into a cyborg? I would never be in a cafe, ever. Okay, so that's a lie. You're definitely in a cafe, but not the Cyber Cafe. No, what are you talking about? Well, fine, I'll ask a blatant question and you have to be honest with me. Are you in the Cyber Cafe? No. Okay, good. That actually sounded like you were being honest with me. Perfect. Now, let's see. What other cafe options do we have here? Let's see here. Yo, maybe you're just chilling in the traditional cafe, are you, Melon? Are you perhaps a cappuccino right now? Uh, no. Nope. Is that your official question? I mean, are you lying to me? That's my official question. Can you hear that? That's kind of yes. Yes, I'm... No, I'm lying. Yes, I'm lying. I'm breaking the windows. Can you hear the window smashing? Bro, if I say yes, I'm lying to you, then that means I'm not lying to you. And if I say no, I'm lying to you, that means I am lying to you. Because, like, if I'm lying, it's kind of a paradox and doesn't... Hey, Melon. What the heck? Your arm is sticking out of that barrel. Look, look at that. Hold on, put your head back out. Yo, hold on, hold on. Just put your head out real quick. Hold on, let me just get a little bottle. Of it. Oh, let me, uh, do you mind if I get a little cappuccino real quick? Yo, chill! Okay, you found me. We get it. You found me, Sonny. All right, can we just go to the next round? I don't know how you found me so quickly. You're doing something, sus. Dude, you literally lied to me and transformed into a cappuccino. It was so obvious where you were hiding. Whatever, bro. Oh. I'm gonna find you so quickly on this next round. Just go to the town hall, bro, and start my timer. Sonny, your timer starts as soon as I put this thing on, which is... Uh, I don't know where it went, so I'm putting this on. You have two minutes! 
starting now. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have two minutes to find the most goaded and epic of hiding spots, which is actually just gonna be around this corner. I gotta get a couple of blocks. Three blocks. Yeah, that should do the trick. And then it's like, boom, bang, bing, climb up the back of this wall. And whoa, is this that same Tesla cyber truck that I went underneath earlier? Oh, it sure is. And then I just gotta crouch, lay down, come back behind this here tire, and scoop Drop down the hole. Yep. <clears throat> Back in my vents. The perfect hideout. The place where Purple Rainbow Friends destroys all of his enemies. And that is exactly the inspiration I needed today to win this hide and seek. Okay, Melon, I'm in my hiding spot again. I'm ready. <sighs> what are you doing? Are you good? That's disgusting. Sorry, I was just burp vomiting. Now it's time to find you, Shunny. Let's go! Hey, Melon, what is on your head? Uh, don't worry about that. I was just doing a little bit of hacking. <laughs> Guys, he didn't even clue in the fact that I could see him with that Doctor Strange helmet on. He didn't even realize that means I'm nearby. Where are you, bro? You could see me. How'd you know I had Doctor Strange on? Oh, that was Doctor Strange? Yeah, I was like super far away and I just saw a melon with a weird thing on its head. So I just was you know, like, what is that? Maybe you're in this cafe, huh? You think you can pull a quick one on me and hide in this other cafe? Yeah, right, Sonny. Where are you? Oh, no, bud. Don't look in the cafe. I'm not a cappuccino. What if I'm a double espresso? Dude, you're not even in here. What the heck? Yeah, I'm espressing myself right now. Oh, like espresso, but espressing. Huh? Yeah. And the expression I have is a big smile because I'm so happy I'm going to win another round of hide and seek. This is going to be goaded. Sonny, you could also be hiding in this cash place, but I'm going to ask some questions. First of my questions, are you hiding inside or outside? I'm hiding inside again. All right. You need money, Sonny, because you're so money hungry, bro. That's all you're motivated by. Whoa, chill. My motivations go way deeper than that. All I want to do is beat you and be the very best that no one ever was. Oh, wait, that's Pokemon. My bad. You want all the diamonds. You're so greedy, Sonny. You're literally the person who steals my diamonds every time I go mining, and then you force my hand, and I got to prank you back for it. No, it's not cool, Sonny. All you care about is diamonds. Dude, you need to chill out. I'm actually more about that netherite. Yeah, bro. <sighs> That's something I thought you would say. Now, I don't see you in the cash place, according to your inside, but there's these upstairs that I can't access normally. That's it. Enter in creative mode! Yo, chill, Melon. That's against the rules. <laughs> Boom! Oh, no. Are you TNTing things? Are you blowing things up again? You're not up here. Oh, no, guys. This is really bad. Melon's probably gonna blow up that entire cash house. Oh, no. What is Cash and Nico gonna have to say about this? I hope they don't watch this video. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> to these buildings right here, Sonny. I think two of these should do the trick. Ooh, I kind of want to try times 100, but I think that's overkill. Let's do this and this, and then grab some flint and steel. Let's see which one does more damage. I'm not a big cash fan. I'm more of a Nico stan myself. And boom, be gone. Melon, Melon, what's wrong with you, bro? And then we do this. Let's see what this one does. Hellfire TNT. Yo, that was sick. I don't even see you anywhere in here, Sonny. It's because I'm not in there, Melon. But you need to chill, bro. Creative mode is going to your head. What happens if creative mode ink shows up and takes away our powers and strands us? Oh no, guys, he actually opened up the vents. I really hope he doesn't notice that. He is so close. Destruction, explode even more things. Yes, it's beautiful. But now I know you're not in this building, so I got to check out other areas. Wait, what the heck? Why am I in survival? Oh no, I think creative mode ink's mad at me, guys. Uh, I'm confused. Sonny, how much time do I have left? You have two minutes remaining. I gotta go to the bank and make sure everything's okay with create. What the heck is this, Sonny? Why is the floor of the bank one-way glass? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Melon. <laughs> I'm totally not purple in the vents. I'm definitely not purple in the vents again. Bro, is this what you're talking about, the vents? 
Where are you? Just gotta crouch around the corner, guys. Third person, this one, and I'll be good. You're definitely down here, Sonny. This is so sus. This is how you knew I was in the cafe. Guys, he's coming. I gotta move. I gotta move. Move, 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 move. Sprint jump. Sprint jump. Corner it. Oh! <laughs> that was close. That was close. Sonny, second question. Are you down here? Yes, I am in the vents. And you only have 60 seconds. Dang it, bro. I need to get out right now and find this guy. Okay. I don't have many blocks, but I can... Boom. Bada bing. Shkaboosh. No, it's a ghost block. I can't make it out of here. I gotta find the actual exit. Wait a second. I blew this up without realizing. <laughs> you sure did, bro. Sonny, where are you? Hey, it's interesting you'd call me the one who's obsessed with diamonds, but you just collected some. I gotta get out of here, Sonny. I made a boo-boo. You literally robbed the bank, didn't you? Where are you? I'm still hiding in the vents, bro. Wait, you're still in the vents? I thought you said you left. No, I said I'm in the vents like purple. You are really dumb. I gotta go back in there. Ah! I'm on fire! Oh, oh, I just barely survived. Where are you? Wait, I found you. I found you, Sonny. Let's go. I just got to touch you. I'm going to win. Melon, chill, bro. You have five seconds left. There's no rush. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> and now I'm out of here. I punched you. You didn't touch me. Wait, how did I survive? I'm so confused. And Melon, that's time, bro. GG. What just happened? Sunny. I hit you with the old bait and switch TNT kaboomer. Let's go. What the heck? No way that counts. Guys, uh, he touched me, so that means I touched him, right? Comment down below who you thought won. I'm pretty sure I did. Bro, I could have just moved. I let you get there so I could explode you with my secret TNT. No, Melon, what? I got, I got two minutes to hide. Hey, you, buddy. No, nothing good can come of this, Melon. You've just destroyed half the city. Great. Nice one. And that buys me some time. Okay, guys, I gotta find an amazing, super powerful secret spot to win. Ow! Ah! Why are there gaps everywhere? All right. Well, I'm gonna gotta build with the diamond blocks, bro. I'm so rich. Give me this. And it's time to go to the church. I gotta go all the way to the top. Not many people know how to do it. it. Requires a super secret power called cheating. Game mode creative. This is only fair because Sonny did this to me. So now that I'm in creative, I go up here, I chill out all the way up top skis, and I look out at the whole city. Sonny is never gonna think to look here. All right, Sonny, I'm ready. Let's do this! Okay, now the question is, for the final round, what would a melon be doing besides destroying the entire town? Oh my gosh, bruh. My secret vents, they're ruined. Now, let's see. I didn't even use them to spy on you this round while you hid. Wait, so I was right. That's how you found me in the cafe, you dirty cheat. Yeah, bro. When you were first hiding out, I was following you around in the vents, and I saw you build that extension here with the barrels and then you jumped inside of it but you didn't even know your arm was sticking out bro you are so annoying not only did i mess up but you also cheated dang it sonny i wouldn't call it cheating i just say i have a really big brain like look at it it's huge it's so ginormous, Sonny, is what you think I would say. I would never say that, Sonny. You're never gonna fu- Why are you walking straight towards me? Are you sure you're looking straight at me? I don't see you. Uh, yeah. That's how it should be. And I am walking straight towards you? You're telling me you went to church? No, I'm just messing with you, Sonny. I'm just <laughs> trolling, guys. Gotta pretend like this ladder doesn't exist. Gotta get rid of it right now. And... Put a ghost block right there, and we're good. Why do I get the feeling you climbed up really high in this church? No, I don't know what you're talking about. We're gonna put a quartz block there. Guys, I've set a barricade. He can't get through. It's impossible. Why is there broken ladders on the ground? Don't 
worry about that. It's all right. It's all good. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna pick them up and come for a casual climb to the top. Where's this? Dude, blocks keep dropping on my head. I'm in a ghost block. No, you're not. I am in a ghost block. What the heck? That's just a bait and switch. You don't know what you're talking about. Melon, I can literally see your face. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Melon, what are you doing? Don't worry about it, Sonny. What did you put on top of this? I'm stuck. The block won't break. <laughs> it was my ultimate barricade, and you'll never find me, Sonny. Melon, you are so dumb. You put a ghost block. I'm inside of it. I can see you hiding in those trap doors. Oh, why, why can you see that? Why? Because I'm in a ghost block. I can see through everything, but I'm stuck. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to have to hit the ultimate ladder clutch if I want to win. That's it. I got to blow this place all up. Okay, guys. If I jump to this light post, or maybe this tree right here, and hit the ladder clutch! Oh, I didn't hit it, but I survived! I'm out of here! Now, where's Mel- Dude, I see you running away! What the heck, you left? No, what you're talking about. Melon, I'm literally behind you, seeing you running into the sofa facility. What are you trying to do? Go furniture shopping? No, guys, it's not good. Get over here. Find an escape route, please, through this mirror! You went through the privé? Wait, what the heck? It actually worked. I'm in another building. Let's go. Melon, I'm right behind you, bro. I know you went into this bathroom. Where did you go? You were right here. No, don't tell me. You flushed yourself down the toilet. Don't question it. Dude, this toilet button doesn't flush. I'm stuck in the toilet seat. Where did you run to? I saw you come up here. I may or may not have ran into the mirror and teleported to another building. Let's go. And you only got 15 seconds left, Sonny. You can't find me anymore. That makes no sense. You're telling me you just went in here and went like this? What the heck? Dude, it teleported me into the lava. No! Let's go. Not only did I win, but you died. And that makes victory so much more sweeter. You know what else is pretty sweet? Hitting that like and subscribe button. Today in Minecraft, we decided to go back to school. Sonny, this was the worst decision ever. Okay, Melon, what is two plus two? Oh, this is a really tough question. Uh, Melons? No, you dummy. I'll give you one more try. Psst, goats, can you please tell me what the answer is in the comments? And please be quiet so Sonny doesn't hear it. And you should subscribe right now. We're so close to reaching 400,000 subscribers. Melon, hurry up and get up here and give me half of your diamonds. Sonny, I'll give you half of my diamonds when you give me half of your gold. You were bragging about how much you got. Yeah, sure, bro. I'll give you half of my gold. Let me just do the math on this one. 23 divided by 2 is 2. Here you go. 23 divided by 2 is not 2. Are you an idiot? No, I'm actually a genius. You probably don't even know how to craft stone bricks. Uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's four stone in a crafting table. Here, check it out. I'll show you. Uh-huh. Crafting table for cobbles. I have no idea how to craft stone bricks. You are so stupid, Melon. Everybody knows it's for smooth stone. Yes, yeah, Sonny? Oh, well, if you're so smart, then follow me. Yeah, I am pretty smart, so I can keep up. No problems. Whoa. Are we getting something to eat? This looks delicious. Put it back in the fridge right now. Okay, chill, chill. I put the sweet pie back. Relax. Okay, Sonny. If I have six carrot bread and I give you two carrot bread, how many carrot breads do I have? Six, bro. You just said it. You had six. Sonny, you actually don't know how to do math. I have four. Okay. If I have six sweet berry pies and I eat one, how many sweet berry pies do I have? You have six. Five in your hand and one in your little tummy. Sonny, I think you might have some problems. You're so stupid. No, bro. You literally have six. You're the idiot, not me. That's it. Let's let Quandale decide. Side. Who's smarter, me or you, Sonny? Yeah, let's do this, because I already know the answer, and so does Quandale. He's the smartest villager in Minecraft, and he's going to pick the one, the only, the Godimus Maximus. Yeah, that's me, Sonny boy. Sonny, you are cringe. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, Quandale. 
Fail. Who's the smartest in Minecraft, Melon or Sunny? Ha! Both of you are dumb, I swear. I mean, just the other day I saw Sunny mining diamonds with a stone pickaxe, and Melon tried to make a glowstone portal. You two never fail to surprise me with your lack of intelligence, but hey, that's what makes you special. Yo, Quandale, I thought I told you not to tell anyone that! And I swore it worked on YouTube. You know what? Since you're both so eager to prove your intelligence, I recently opened a school, and I think it's the perfect opportunity for you two to settle the score once and for all. Enroll in my school, and I promise you'll be handsomely rewarded for your efforts. Sonny, he's right. We're both idiots. We gotta go back to school. Let's go! Please, I wanna go to kindergarten. No, no Sonny, it's gonna be high school. Oh, is kindergarten too far back? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we can't go back there, unfortunately. We're too old. Whoa, Melon. This place looks awesome. Dude, this is insane. I can't wait to show everybody that I'm way smarter than you. Yo, relax. Don't forget Quandale's message. He told us to go see the principal before class starts. You're right, you're right. Melon, I found it. The principal's office. Hello, Mr. Principal. Sonny Melon, it's a pleasure to have you here. Your first class is math. You have to report there when the bell rings. Yo, math is my favorite subject. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, Mr. Principal, can we just skip math class and go to art or uh, crafting or something else that's not math? Absolutely not. Report now. Ah, let's go. Let's just go. We gotta go, Sonny. I don't wanna be late. Welcome to math class. We're here to learn functions and equations and all sorts of fun things. Sonny, can you be the first to come up and solve these problems? Uh, do I have to? Yes, you must. Okay, I think I can do these ones. Five, five, plus three, three. Ah, oh, carry the three. Two! The answer's two! Wait, I'm wrong? Dang it! Uh, 13 X 13. Wait, are they in love or something? What the heck is this? This isn't even math. They're going on a date. Turns out you really are stupid. Melon, why don't you give it a shot? Oh, that's not very nice. I got this two 100 minus 99? Yep, that's 101. You are correct. Oh, this is awesome. This is so easy. 22 plus 9 is 31. 14 times 14 is 196. And 199 minus 88 is... Uh, hold on, give me a second. It is... Ha! Ah, see? You're dumb too, Bella. You can't even do basic subtraction. It's 111, Sonny. Dang it! Why are you so smart? Mathematics is just my specialty, Sonny. Dang it, bro. You probably activated your fifth melon seed. Very good melon. You're the top student in this class. And as for you, Sonny, well, uh, you suck and you are dumb and stuff. Oh, there's the bell. Time for you to go to crafting class. Yes! Crafting! That's my favorite subject. Oh, not crafting. Crafting class. Time for me to flex my knowledge. Hey, Mr. Teacher. Yeah, you've got a top student here for sure. Why don't you start with Melon here to see someone embarrass themselves? Uh, Sonny, I'm I'm okay at crafting. Well, prove it. Yes, prove it. Come on up, Melon. Uh, okay. Okay, so I have these choices, huh? I'm gonna craft the clock. And for the clock, I'm gonna need sticks, a bow and arrow, obsidian. Bro, are you okay? Leather, leather. Yeah. And take notes, everybody. This is indeed how you craft the clock. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. And look, it made a clock. Whoa, that's crazy. Melon, that couldn't have been farther from the correct crafting recipe if you tried. Dang it! This is the most embarrassing thing I've seen all day. Whatever, whatever, bro. Let's see you craft, Sonny, if you're so smart. Yeah, not a problem. Time for me to do some heavy lifting. Why don't I start with the old clock here to embarrass? <laughs> Embarrass you even more. I just need this and this. Check it out, Melon. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 and that's a clock recipe. Oh, uh, what? No way that's how you craft a clock. Very good, Sonny. It's easy, isn't it? I don't know how Melon keeps screwing it up. I mean, it's just a simple redstone clock. Yeah, <laughs> amateur hour, I know. Now, you know what? Why don't I just flex the old crafting muscles and show you how you do the compass, Melon? It's pretty much the same thing, but you swap the gold out for iron ingots. Easy. 
What? Bro, how do you know all these things? Oh, what's that, Professor Steven? You want me to try and challenge myself to something a little more difficult? No problem. Okay, Melon, why don't you choose what I craft next? You could tell me to do the beacon, the item frame, scaffolding, or a dispenser. Dude, there's no way you know how to make a beacon. Ah, light work. Melon, look at the block. Do you see something there? It's called glass and obsidian. Okay, but... How are you gonna make it? I don't get it. First things first, you make the obsidian base at the bottom. Then you take glass to turn it into a nice closed box. And do you have any clue what item goes in the middle? Uh, bedrock. It's actually DN. DN what? D's nuts! Ha! Got him! Bro, what is wrong with you? That's not D's nuts, that's a wither star. Yeah, it's called a nether star. You failed again! Dang it! Well done, Sonny. That was fantastic work there. Now enjoy your lunch. The cafeteria is right nearby. <gasps> lunch break! I'm starving. I can't wait to grab a steak. Melon. Look at all the delicious lunch options. They have Donuts! <laughs> Oh, can I please have a donut? Yes, I'm gonna take everything, Sonny. Give me all the food. Oh, yes. You gotta share with me. I'll think about it, Sonny. Just let me uh, put it right next to here. Oh, look at that. <gasps> toasties. They have melon jelly toasties. <laughs> Bro, they're not melon. Wait, what the heck is this? No, Sonny, don't eat it. I'm gonna share these with everyone. Sonny, what is wrong with you? Okay, Sonny, stop, 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 stop. I can't believe Steve is gonna do that later today. That's so crazy. <gasps> melon, Melon, I gotta talk to you. I don't wanna talk to you, bro. You melon jelly toast everywhere. No, don't, don't worry about that. I have chocolate donuts too. Oh, chocolate. So remember when Quandale said this school has a bully who's up to no good and is trying to destroy this place? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. I just overheard a rumor at the other lunch table that he's gonna do it later today. This is not good. So Sonny, we have to gather more information on this bully and figure out what his plan is. We're the only ones who can stop it. Quandale's counting on us. Bro, we gotta go! It's geography next! Yo, chill out, Sonny. We got time. We got five minutes to get to class. Yeah, but neither of us are very good at geography, so I'm nervous. Don't worry about it, Sonny. I've been studying this Minecraft realm. Oh, this actually looks easy. The overworld is my specialty. I'm just so glad it's not the nether or the end. That would have been Bad. Okay, class. The first student I want to examine today is Sunny. So please stand up and show me where North is on the map. Uh, North. Let's see. It's straight at the top. That's the North. That's the North. Actually, well done. I'm very impressed with your bare bones basic geography skills. Now, can you please show me where the mountains are? Yeah, no problem. The mountain is obviously this gray area in the middle. Wow, you're not actually completely brainless after all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, of course not. <laughs> Melon, it's your turn. You need to point south. Please show us. Oh, uh, this is easy. Everyone knows the north is the opposite of the south, which means the south is this bottom square. Uh, sorry, that was an accident. Did you just destroy my map? Sit down right now. You're getting an F minus minus for this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, class. Let's ask someone that doesn't have a negative IQ. Where's my star pupil, Steve? Steve? Where is he? Did he skip class again? Wait, Sonny, Steve is the one that was going to do something suspicious later today. And now he's cut class? Bro, let's take a look at his desk. What is going on? Steve's desk? Why is there a zombie head? I don't know. What the heck's happening? Bro, this has gotta mean something. I don't know what it means, Sonny, but right now we gotta get to gym class. Isn't Steve in our gym class too? I think so, but I don't even know if he's gonna show up. I think gym class is here. Oh, Sonny, Steve's there and he looks really scary. Uh, I'm kinda nervous, bro. Should we even go on the basketball court? No, Sonny. Sonny, we should go see the teacher first. Gym class. Yeah, that's a much better idea. Welcome to PE class. We're all here to get big and swole. So pick up some weights, pump some iron, or grab a ball and play basketball outside. All you have to do is be active. Okay, this, this class is kind of fun. We have ultimate freedom, Sonny. Yeah, I'm gonna do some training on the bags. Boop, 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 bro, my hands are so quick. You don't want this heat, Melon. Dude, I would destroy you. Melon? What is this girl talking about? What do you know about Steve. You didn't hear this from me, but there are rumors that he has some sort of plan during biology class. But aside from that, he's just a bully in general. His name is Steve. You guys have to stop him. What the heck? Sonny, what is he gonna do in biology class? I don't 
don't know. And that's our next class after PE. Dude, we need to confront him about this before it's too late. You're right. And let me just lift these weights to get strong enough. Spot me, Melon. Uh, okay, I'm spotting you, bro. I got you. Oh, what the heck, Sonny? What is wrong with you? Oh, sorry, bro. It put a little too much pressure on me, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's just both agree this never happened. I'm going to confront Steve. Yeah, I'm right behind you, bro. Now that I got these big muscles and all that gas out of my body. Hey, Steve, we know what you have planned, and we don't like it. What do you know about my plan, loser? I don't know, but I know you're going to do something in biology class. It doesn't matter anyway. It's too late for you two to stop me. Well, Steve, how about this? If we can beat you with bass, Basketball, you abandon your evil plans. Nah, how about I just beat you up, huh? Ah, yo, Steve, chill. Melon, I'm out of here. You're on your own. Good luck. No, I don't want to mess with Steve. He's too strong. Melon, we just barely escaped from Steve. I think we need to prepare before biology class if we're going to stop him. Sonny, we need to get some gear. Does that mean we're going mining? Yeah, bro. Let's go to the mines. Bro, that was the class bell. We've got to run. Sonny, how many English? do you have? I only had time to collect seven. Sonny, give them to me. My strength is math. Fine, I'll give you half. There's two. Okay, good enough, Sonny. I'm just kidding, bro. I can do math now, so you can have all of them. That's plus seven. See, two plus five is seven. And then I split it, and that's seven and seven, so we each get seven. Use that to craft my set, and use that to craft your set. Why did we do the whole exchange thing? Anyways, we're running out of time! Oh, oh, oh. So, I make myself an iron chest plate, and uh, uh, a helmet. No, no, no. A boots. And uh, I need a stick. Sonny, you got... You You good? Wait, make sure you craft me a sword, too. Oh, it's okay, Melon. We actually had an iron sword here the whole time. There you go. Oh, let's go. Yes, a stick. Let's go. <sighs> I'm ready for Steve. We gotta go. This is my new pet zombie, and he's gonna eat the teacher. Mwahaha. <laughs> <gasps> Melon, we were almost late to class. Steve, where's the teacher? I got rid of the teacher, and soon my zombies will kill you too. Goodbye, Sonny and Melon. Ah! Yo, a zombie's attacking! Yo, we gotta take him out. Wait, Sonny, this isn't any ordinary zombie. It's really strong. Melon! No, it's a mutant. It's a mutant zombie. I gotta eat my chocolate donuts. It's the only way to survive. Sonny, Sonny, I'll save you. Hurry up, bro. This zombie is so strong. Wait, I've got him trapped. No, don't hit him at me. Sorry, Sonny. Hold on. We could take him out together. No, nope, that's all you. I'm eating my donut. Yo, he's dead. Yeah, but Steve's on us now. You destroyed my biological weapon. Now I'll destroy you for ruining my plans. Take this, you idiots. Take him out. Die. Die. Oh, Steve was actually a wimp, bro. He should have hit the weights. Congratulations, and thank you so much for saving the school. By the way, did you find out who's the smarter one between you two? I'm very curious. Quan Dale, we've realized it doesn't matter who's smarter. We both have our strengths and weaknesses, and together we're unstoppable. Yeah, and we're both pretty dumb. That too. Well, I'm glad you at least learned something today, that you are idiots. But as a thanks for saving my school, here's a stack of diamonds each. I owe it to you after all the things that you did. Thanks, guys. Knew I could count on you. Whoa, Quandale. That's so kind. Thanks, Quandale. Sonny, now we're rich. Let's go. And if you guys want to have a stack of diamonds, press that like and subscribe button.